Assalamualaikum and a very good uh, afternoon, still afternoon. Okay, uh, we want to discuss about uh, the concentration, yeah, topic of the uh, final assessment, final assessment concentration, not final exam, final assessment concentration. Yeah, for uh, for the thirty percent itself. Yeah, last time they call it um. Uh, what you call it? Last time they call it final exam. Yeah, now you can uh do the assessment within uh, uh I think about five days or six days itself. So from twenty fifth, I will open it. Yeah, nine a.m. and then you can do it. I know it's Christmas. Yeah, I know it's public holiday, but you still can submit. Yeah, until eleven fifty nine p.m. Uh, on thirty first December. So if twelve. Yeah, after 12, so I'm so sorry. Yeah, you cannot submit anymore because uh, this is a concept of final assessment. So please don't just uh, text me, PM me. Yeah, uh, madam, can can I do, you know, because I I, I, I went back to Malik Kampung, you know, my internet is poor, so I don't want to have that kind of, yeah, uh, excuses because uh, you should read, you should, you should prepare. Yeah, because last, because last semester is final exam by responders, but this this round, yeah, they give you uh you know uh what do you call that freedom, yeah, for you to do your assessment, yeah, within that particular days itself from twenty fifth to thirty first. So I hope that everybody is a clear and knowledge what I said, and then I don't want to uh give extra one day or two days itself. So for those who have still yeah not submitting your individual assignment and midterm, please do it. Because I will give until, uh, because I want to do marking already. But yeah, since you guys are submitting your fifty percent, your fifty percent, so uh, uh, most probably yeah, I will mark maybe uh, at least you know yeah, at least you know within that uh, before the final before the thirty uh, first of December, at least you know what to uh, expect yeah for your seventy uh, percent yeah. Because I want to mark, and then I said, alamak, kan nanti I marking, and then the 50% ramai belum hantar lagi, because today is a due date. Okay, so I just wait, yeah, for you guys to submit. Yeah, uh, today is the deadline, yeah, for your assignment, 50%. And then I will do uh, the marking, yeah. And then with before you you reach the 31st December, you should know your 70, 70 marks already, yeah. So I don't want to for your final assessment. Say, madam, can you check? So no, sorry, yeah, it's actually it's as good as final exam. Yeah, you cannot say, uh, madam, can you check my final assessment? Minta maaf, yeah, I already give you upfront. Yeah, I already mentioned you now. I cannot, I cannot do that. Yeah, it's as good as your final exam. Yeah, okay. It's but they just change for the assessment because you can submit later. Okay, so I cannot check the final assessment. Yeah, and then you I can you cannot submit twice or thrice or four times. No, it's just one go. Okay? Just one time. Okay, so please uh I will inform you in the group again. Yeah, just to remind you for those who tak masuk lagi in class, yeah, for those who just always lambat entering the class, I will inform in the group. Yeah, what is actually the uh, my expectation. Okay, so today I want to practice you, yeah, with the uh Case study, tapi yang I bagi tu bukan the actual case studies. Yeah, the actual case studies you will see only on the twenty on the twenty fifth. Yeah, so it's actually as um uh there is actually two case studies. Yeah, there was actually two case studies. Uh, which is one case study is consists of three questions. Yeah, one case study is consists of three three questions. So all total is six questions. So this six question is six question will give you marks of 100 yeah so i will already divided yeah ada 15 ada 15 ada 20 yeah so uh you will get the total is 100 yeah okay uh prof benjamin already approved uh, my uh final assessment yeah because uh, the one that you're doing for uh, this 25th is actually set b so siapa yang miss yeah the set a set a set, sorry set b pula set a yeah uh, the one that I will give you on the 25th is, is actually set A. So, siapa yang, uh, oh, I mean, uh, 
want to do it next year, maybe because you have certain urgent ke, um, emergency ke, you have to sit for set B. Yeah, so I already prepare set B and set A. Yeah, uh, both of it is actually be approved by the dean. Yeah, by Prof. Benjamin. Okay, so uh, uh, the question will be uh, two case studies. Yeah, so one case study, three questions. So I just put it A, B, C. Yeah, A, B, C. And then another one, A, B, C. So all six questions. And then you can do it by 25th of December at 8 a.m. At 9 a.m. Yeah. Okay, Malaysian time. Not Nigerian time. Not Zimbabwe. Not, not uh, apa ni orang cakap, uh, UK, US. No, Malaysian time. Yeah, 9 a.m. Okay, so please keep on uh, key in your name. Yeah, your metric because yeah, the admin will copy all the names and then they will check the attendance. I mean, they will tick on the attendance. Yeah, this is actually one of the evidence that you come to class. Jangan cakap puan saya datang cepat lambat, you know. So so sorry, yeah, because you have been notified in the first class itself. Please do your metric. Please key in your name. Please key in your metric number. Yeah, for those latest, I also be teaching later strategic management. Strategic management, there will be marks, yeah, for attendance, five percent. Yeah, so please be careful if you enter my class, lah. Yeah, okay. So five percent will be allocated, yeah, for attendance. So macam ni tak ada, yeah, macam ni tak ada. But later, uh, kalau kerap sangat you tak datang, out of the six classes, you datang satu saja. Ah, so nanti Uni Razak will. Or maybe HKC will inquire you. Money for the rest of the five classes, money will be missing. Yeah, because you already signed uh, as a student. Yeah, you already acknowledge that you are the students. You already agreed your responsibility. You have to enter the class. But maybe because of the recording, yeah, you have your leniency. Yeah, not to come to class. I'm not so sure. Yeah, but for information, certain subjects they have attendance for marking. Yeah, but uh, this one, ODC, there's no attendance yeah, uh, for marking itself. Yeah, for uh, strategic management, yes. Yeah, 5%. Uh, Professor uh, Roland, uh, Xavier, uh, Professor Roland, yeah, 5% is actually for attendance. Okay, so I have to follow the module leader uh, or the course leader. Okay, so that, uh, please, uh, I don't put this in Europe. Because this is a concentration. So later there will be conflict. Yeah, People will be say that I'm actually giving the answers. No. Yeah. It's as good that I'm giving, I'm giving you just yeah, the, the answer scheme. But again, yeah, if I if you do also if you copy whatever I give you today, yeah, but it's not reflecting to the case study, I will not also give you full mark. So the, the most I give you pass only. If the question is actually 15. I give you only seven point five. If the question is actually like twenty, I give you only ten. So at the end of the day, your your marks will be only uh, just passenger. Yeah, it's as good as that. Okay. So, uh, I try to train you how to engage to the ca uh, case study question. It's not like structured structured question. You can just answer. Yeah, you can answer based on the question. Tapi case study no. Yeah, if your answer is not relevant, it's not uh is uh, diverted away from the case study, yeah, susah. You will not get a very good marks. Yeah, because ca case study is actually given that way. Yeah. The the methods of answering case studies is actually like that. You have to reveal or you have to engage certain terminology, certain names, certain I mean activities, certain transactions, certain phenomenon that happen in the case study. Yeah, so read the case study well. Jangan baca satu, jangan baca dua. Yeah, because case study you have to understand. Kalau ada nampak highlight apa, if you don't understand, or maybe maybe you want to print, you highlight with the uh, highlighter. You garis, yeah, and then you bullet. You don't understand the meaning, you bullet, and then you find the meaning itself. This is actually the way of you doing the case study. I mean, uh, to answer the case study question. Yeah, to answer the case study, this is how you do it. Not just reading once and then you find or uh, no. This is all the give uh, the the challenges in uh, change management. This is all the answers that I give it to you. But then this is all very general. Yeah, your duty, your challenge is to click all this. Contohnya, if I say discuss three, you click out the out of the ten I give it to you. For example, changes in uh, change management. Ambil tiga. Tak kisahlah yang bersesuaian. 
and then you have to engage to the case. If the case, uh, sometimes you are so smart, you just put the name and then you put general. Contohnya macam, okay, Steve, uh, what is the challenge? What is actually Steve job challenges in uh, you know in uh, adapting the change management? Contoh lah, yeah. Oh, Steve job, blah blah blah. But you, the name is just Steve job. Tapi this, the activity is not there. Yeah, the uh, engagement of the case is not there. It's as good. I give you five only. Yeah, kalau sepuluh maka dia, I give you five only. Yeah, because I want something which is the real happening happen at in that particular case study itself. Yeah, because I already uh yeah uh what do you call that? If you notice that my case study memang tak, memang ada lah dekat internet, but it's actually from Harvard. Harvard uh what do you call case study itself? Yeah. Uh, Harvard Business Schools of Case Study. Uh, they call it uh, Harvard Business School. Um, I, I I forgotten the 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 full, but it's actually from yeah Harvard University. Yeah, so I can assess to their uh, case studies. Yeah, and then I got it for free. But of course, you can see you can see in the internet, but you're gonna buy it. It's actually in US dollar. Yeah, tapi soalan pun yang you bagi uh, yang I bagi ni pun yeah definitely is not there's no uh, what do you call that the question I did I prepared myself so you tak akan dapat yeah uh, what do you call that jawapan if you ask AI also you cannot tak, tak boleh yeah chat G, GPT also you cannot cannot get because chat GPT normally is gen very general yeah because I'm using chat GPT I know yeah, for my uh, thesis but of course yeah it's just for to understand yeah okay for us to understand sometimes books is actually very difficult to understand so I asked the chat GPT, yeah, so I will get the, the meaning of the, the my questions itself, okay? So, and then for example, I mean, for you guys, I have, yeah, because I'm also, I uh, used to be, uh, I taught a yeah, few universities, I'm teaching, yeah, a few universities, I can access to their turning in, yeah? So if I notice that you, your wording is so good, yeah, because like layman, macam kita, kita punya, even though you are good in English, tapi kita punya, kita punya susunan tu definitely will be lintang pukang juga. Yes, slightly lintang pukang. Yeah. Okay. So when I see your, 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 what do you call that? The answer is actually very good. I will send it to turn it in. If your AI or your plagiarism is very high, definitely. Yeah. I'll give you only. Yeah. I have to feel you. Because that's not your work. You are actually... Getting uh, uh, what you call assistance from the AI and also the you copy from the internet. So I have, I have because I did last time. Yeah, so student uh, asking me why I feel. I said because you are copy. I have the proof. He just keep quiet. Yeah, so please, yeah, if you want to do it because you want to warrant check up, you want to sincerely earn this knowledge. Yeah, you do it yourself. Yeah, if you started with. For example, the point itself that you already belajar ni pun you dah menipu. Yeah, belajar ni pun you dah copy. Copy and paste. Macam mana you have? What is actually about your career? Yeah, your career path. And how you start your career itself with MBA who actually you, you notice that this is actually part of the yeah, your uh, I mean your work. Your work is just 20. Your effort is just 20%. The rest is you leave it to. Yeah, the, the rest is actually a, a culture of copy and paste and also yeah, you um, from the internet and also the AI itself. So you know yourself. Yeah, so you yourself know. Yeah, what sort of knowledge are you actually getting? So please sit here. Walaupun you dapat B plus ke B minus ke C ke, but that is your own effort. You feel proud eh, if you have this. Yeah, so maybe next two years or maybe next year you'll be graduated. Yeah, graduating. So you're proud of yourself, even though that you don't have full flat, you don't have. Uh, three. Uh, what do you call? You just got get. Uh, you just. Uh, maybe you if you will get only three plus, yeah, three pointer plus is good enough because that is actually your effort that you have already tried, yeah. Because my uh, what do you call MBA? So I my my MBA is just uh three point three, yeah. So is for if my PhD, I I can I have to they have to interview me because they said that they uh, for for uh, UKM they want three point five. I said. Yeah, I'm the product of uh, UKM because my BBA is there, my master's is actually there. So if you don't want to, to choose me, it's okay, it's up to you. Yeah, 
but I this is what I had they, they interviewed me said why should I take you as a um, you know PhD candidates this I'm the product of UGM I said because my BBA my MBA taking from there and then I know yeah I know my journey well yeah because he, he they knew that uh, last time my PA, I this is my second lah my first one it was terminated by UPM so I said of course I tried my best yeah people make mistakes to say yeah but the second one, I'll try my best because I know my mistakes. So I aim my journey well. So from there, I get it. Dia tanya soalan macam tu tau. Dia tak tanya, uh, how you knowledge, what is your knowledge about your marketing? Because my concentration is marketing. So they don't ask me that kind of, you know, a, a question. They get, they ask me some sort of kenapa. What, how, how do I, you know, forfeit myself? How do I, you know, my journey to the PhD itself? So bukan senang walaupun saya daripada UKM tu saya, saya kena interview tau nak nak dapat PhD itself. So you bayangkan sebab masa tu ketika itu memang ramai ya candidate I mean candidate from the uh, you know outside want to apply for the UKM. So I I got it. Yeah. Saya sampai uh, you know my cable also lah I ask my cable my cable cakap, my cable check up oh susah. Ya yeah, senat dia punya tu memang susah. So this is actually how yeah you have to Put yourself, you value yourself. So this is what I, I inform them. Yeah, what is actually, for example, much AI is yeah? What what you are getting anyway? Yeah, you copy and then you give you just to get a good marks. I can give you good marks also. I say tak payah nak copy copy. Yeah, whatever that you want, I can I can give it to you. But when you copy, yeah, when you giving when you just take the AI stuff and then put it as your claim as that is yours. Macam bayangkan lah ya, you buat ya, cake and then suddenly people claim that, oh, tu cake I yang buat. How do you feel? So this is exactly how yeah, it's all about. So uh, finish on the, I want to check up the introduction about this, yeah, the AI and also the copy, yeah, uh, copy and paste, yeah, plagiarism rate. Yeah, in, in UK and US, plagiarism very high, more than 30%, you can earn it out. Yeah, you have to uh more than 50 uh, 30 percent lah yeah above the faculty can just yeah stop you and expel you from the university tapi malaysia ni still lagi boleh boleh bernafas lah yeah but in other university no way yeah if, if you study in europe you study in U us yeah plagiarism very very yeah that means you have to make sure that your integrity must be very good yeah Okay, so the first question in the case study, yeah, because case study A, yeah, I don't limit, yeah, is about challenges in change. Yeah, so as you know that this subject is actually about um, change management, yeah, um, organizational development and change management. But if you look at the, uh, what do you call the, the course outline, the course outline is all about, mostly is more on the change, yeah, uh, change management part, yeah. Okay, so when you talk about challenges, so I give you 10 already, yeah? I already prepared the answers for you, but this is very general, yeah, as I mentioned. Okay, the first question, they're actually asking about challenges in change management, yeah? So, you baca lah, you baca, you baca, and they said, ah, this is what Madam Amra told just now, uh, you know, a few days ago. Yeah, as is that today is 25th lah, yeah? Oh, ada banyak lah. So you whatever that you need you, you pick yeah for example we say oh okay they are they are very resistant to change you mangla you tulis lah but what apa example yeah so what is the example don't just keep yeah for example as I mentioned just now or oh, uh, Mr A yeah uh, and uh, his colleague uh, very I mean uh, resist of change yeah uh, and then you put it very generic and uh, general yeah. Uh, because they are, I mean, they are not comfortable with the existing process. When you give me all this kind of thing, yeah, when you reflect, yeah, to my, uh, what you call the plagiarism and and uh, what you call that, and also the AI itself, ah, uh, maaf lah, yeah. Sorry, that's not your work. The most challenging part is actually you attach something which is apa yang mengatakan what yeah. Remember, eh, if you want to be critical. Yeah, you have to know the four W and also one H. Yeah, what, when, why. Yeah, what, uh, when, why, and you've forgotten already another. <laughs> and then uh, how. Yeah, satu how. Okay, 
So you want to be critical. Maybe you cannot answer all these four or three. At least you can answer, yeah, dua, see, and then you put it inside as your answers, yeah, as uh, to support your answers itself. And then maybe you say, oh, Mr. A, uh, uh, what do you call that? The employee of the company A resists of change because blah, 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 blah. Ah, macam tu. Yeah. So I see, uh, okay, that means you understood well or you understand well the, the case study itself. Yeah. Jangan you letak nama saja and then isi kosong. Macam tin, tin sardin lah. Sardin dalam ada. Tiba-tiba kita tengok, wah, very nice lah. The sardin you want to buy sekali tengok kosong. No. Yeah. You cannot just, uh, orang cakap, uh, claim that, eh, madam, saya tulis lah nama saja. Tulis lah. Memang you tulis tapi tulis nama je. Isi kosong. Isi tak ada. Yeah. Maksudnya, you have to engage with the activity, with the tra transaction that happened in the case study. So, kita akan cuba Yeah, I want to, uh, uh, what do you call, train you. Yeah, nanti uh, the case study already put inside the, uh, the WhatsApp. So, nanti you can jawab based on that. Yeah. So, resistance of change, that is actually the first. Yeah, the first of challenges. Yeah, so employee resists because they are not ready or maybe they are not comfortable with the process. They have fear of the security or maybe the technology. So, maybe technology to the Uh, kena belajar benda yang lah baru kena kena attend contohnya advanced class of excel or maybe macam saya saya dah biasa dengan masa MBA masa uh, BBA kita dah belas, belajar SPSS untuk research tiba-tiba PhD lama SPSS tak laku lah itu semua hingusan punya uh, what do you call that uh, research punya measurement aduh nak kena attend class lagi ya yeah, i need to go for PLS Yeah, partial lease uh, statistics. Yeah, okay. So, apa benda pula lah PLS ni. So, you have to go for the class. Because university dia ada tapi you kena bayar. Yeah, so kena bayar seratus tengah ke dua ratus tengah ke just for two workshop. Yeah, the whole day itself. Yeah, from morning to evening. So, dua hari kena attend. Uh, so, nak faham itu baru itu baru ni nak kena faham lagi. Yeah, they call it PLS SEM. Yeah, uh, okay. So, I have to buy, I, I, so I hate of that, this is it, I, check, I said to my supervisor, eh tak boleh ke pakai uh, SPF, SPSS, Amra SPSS kini garden punya, he said, oh, okay lah prof, kena belajar, kena belajar, kena keluar duit, kena apa, yeah, so it's it's not easy, so I, of course, the first time, I resist, tapi nak buat macam mana, kita nak, we have to follow the flow lah, kalau tak, tak boleh grad, yeah, so that is the resistance of change, so the first one, the second one, communication gap, Bukan bisu, ya, bukan yang guna bahasa isyarat, but ya, the manager sometimes, they don't want to, they don't want you to know 100%. Contohnya macam, dia tak nak ajar you, ya, 100%. Ataupun nanti dia terror pula lebih daripada dia. Ya. So, in an effective communication, lack of clear, ya, uh, not, ya, not, I mean, consistent and also transparent communication about the reason for change. It, it impact and also expected outcomes. So, communication gap lah. Ini email pun tak tahu nak tulis. Yeah. You, you can, you can shout, you can talk, yeah, verbally to them, but then they want also black and white to confirm. Yeah, macam saya cakap ni. Yeah, how to confirm? Uh, you have the video of me later and then you can see. Yeah. So, black and white, if let's say I said, okay, uh, the following is actually the what is actually the procedure that I expect for the final assessment. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, you dengar, you baca, you say, oh, okay, faham. Uh, that's the challenges sometimes. Yeah. Maybe the challenges is, uh, maybe they, they, they prepare or maybe the email, tapi they will not explain. Yeah. So, maybe you receive, yeah, uh, any, uh, from messages from, uh, I mean, from email from HR. Yeah. We are in the midst of, Uh, having this diff uh, financial difficulties uh, in our company, so there will be further instruction given by the CEO about uh, yeah mutual scheme separation yeah uh, among uh, the the uh, what do you call listed uh, staff. Yang kita tak tahu ni apa benda ni MSS ni <coughs> mutual separation scheme <coughs> mutual separation scheme and also BSS is different yeah. Saya dah batuk dua hari ni. Ya, demam, batuk. Demam dah okey, batuk lagi. 
<coughs> ya. Duduk kat rumah pun kena uh, COVID juga pelik. Ya. Yeah. Okay. So that is actually sometimes you know communication uh, uh, what do you call that as I said just now very important because sometimes you know uh, whatever messages yeah, or whatever uh, information given by the authority kita tak faham. Macam macam uh, uh, Menteri Kesihatan kata oh kita kena ada second third jab. Okay. Third booster. Siapa yang nak kena serah, uh, serah orang cakap lengan. Kita pun dah dapat banyak side effects on the uh, you know, vaccination. Orang oh, kata the first priority yeah, to the uh, yeah, those who actually yeah, ada sakit, ada apa semua. So we want to, if let's say if they don't reveal in detail or maybe yeah, uh, previous uh, apa ni orang cakap menteri kesihatan yang perempuan tu never reveal. So kita pun macam really ya. Yeah? Is it true that the, the statistic shows that uh, COVID-19 is actually very high in rising trend? Betul ke? Mana dapat data? Tak ada pun. Di hospital tak ramai pun. Pergi sini klinik tak ramai pun. Are they sure? No, because there's actually no proper communication. That means there's no notification. There's no com confirmed evidence. You nak percaya ke benda-benda tu semua? Yeah, something. There's no black and white. There's no evidences. Yeah, so we just ignore. Uh, that is actually the challenges. Because kita benda yang tak tak confirm, kita tak nak follow, tak, tak berani. Yeah? Sebab if anything happens and then you are being backfired. Yeah? It's about, it, it definitely happen to you. Yeah? Kita tak berani buat benda-benda yang, uh, you know, something which is not confirm. Because later it will be redundant, later that you, whatever that information or maybe whatever drastic action that you have done, uh, it will backfire you. So better do just to tengok. Okay, so that is actually communication gap. Leadership support. Yeah, because there's no insufficient leadership by in. So, ni apa? Tak ada lack of support, lack of uh, commitment, top management. Dia je cakap, okay, we have to go do change. Tapi diorang pun, as a role model, diorang pun buat tak tahu je on the change. That is also another challenge. Yeah. Dia cakap, oh, okay, Staff tak boleh makan ya. ya. After 9 o'clock, you have to be in your department. Tengok bos semua, ha ha ha, hu 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 hu, gelak-gelak dekat cafe. So macam mana? Terjadi, memang terjadi. Mana-mana company yang kerja pun memang macam itulah. Oh cakap, we cannot, uh, HR already implemented, tak boleh makan dekat cafe. You cannot go out, you cannot smoke outside. Ya, yeah? you have to work 7 hours. Ya, yeah? 1 hour makanlah. Seven hours. You have to be. You have to do uh, at your desktop, yeah, with the seven hours itself. Nobody can loitering around. Tapi dia orang pun is okok. Yeah, dia orang pun ha 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 hu 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 hu. You know, so that is yeah, the role model tu maksudnya is not there. Yeah, so that means insufficient leadership by in <coughs> cultural barrier. Yeah, maksudnya culture tu sendiri kita sendiri pun agak-agak malas lah ni eh, tak nak lah lah dia orang ni pandai-pandai je satu tahun betul tukar lagi sistem tukar lagi so you have experienced it you rasa macam you will not buy in you tak nak percaya ya yeah? because culture is not develop every day, you know one time you know i mean secara singkat no it take years ya yeah? it take years it take months to develop a very good culture yeah and then it depends on the the player itself the teamwork itself the people itself in the company right okay resources uh, constraint yeah because uh, limitation of uh, budget time personnel yeah so itu pun alamak nak buat ni nak buat tu siapa yang nak buat ni siapa nak buat macam lah kita ni ada 30 staff satu staff pun pengsan nak buat satu kerja dia nak kena tambah lagi that is resource constraint. Okay. So, tengok case study tu. Okay. It's like macam bull's eye tau. You ambil your archery tu. Your, your orang cakap archer tu tengok mana satu yang kena. Ada sepuluh tu. Takkanlah tiga pun tak kena. Yeah? So, jawablah. Yeah? I think minimum is actually three or four lah you have to. Adalah soalan tu saya letak kat situ. Yeah? But you prepare yourself. Yeah, Out of the ten tu, mungkin you have to answer three. Ataupun empat. Yeah, depending on the 
question us. Okay, saya letak di situ, discuss three ke, discuss four ke. So, janganlah discuss, Madam, I just want to have extra marks, I answer five. No, I just look at the first three. Yeah, the, after that, nombor empat, nombor lima, saya tak pandang. Okay, I just give the first three marks, uh, first three of your answers only. Okay. And like, alright. Empat <coughs> lagi. Okay, then six, number six. Okay, number six is about fatigue. Penat. Yeah. Okay, so uh, implementing too many changes akan buatkan employee become fatigue, decrease enthusiasm. Semangat tak ada. Sebab bos ni asyik tukar je uh, management. Penat lah. Yeah, management nak cakap hari ni. Ataupun asyik tukar je uh, head of department. Das, belum habis lagi, tukar lah, resign dah. Mereka kena buat diri lain. Ya, yeah? tukar lagi, tukar lagi. Ya, yeah? so that is actually, you all dah penat. Ya, yeah? that means your staff is already burnt out or maybe, ya, yeah? they don't have the spirit, they don't have the enthusiasm. Ya, yeah? maksudnya semangat tu dah tak ada. Sebab terlalu penat sangat. Ya, yeah? look at the doctors itself. Ya, yeah? I pity them lah ya. Yeah? Um, I mean, serve the hospital the public hospital itself, there are so many changes. So, you know, I, I also teach MBA hospital management. Yeah. So, check up, macam mana you cook with the time lagi, you have to re do a reporting lagi. Check up. Nak kencing pun tak ada masa pun. So, you don't be surprised. Penyakit sebenarnya, yeah, sebenarnya doktor tu lagi banyak penyakit. High pressure, depression, anxiety. Yeah. So, memang dia orang ni sebab they got no time for themselves. Ya, yeah, buat kena rounding, ya, yeah, kena uh, attend um, apa ni, um, apa ni orang cakap training, kena pergi attend meeting, oh, in between, you kena buat, you punya, uh, apa ni, uh, kena pergi, okay, contoh lah, dia punya rounding lah, ha, rounding pukul 8 ke, ha, lepas tu petang ke, rounding lagi sebelum balik, lepas tu nak kena buat report lagi, ya, yeah, lepas tu nak kena ada meeting lagi, lepas tu bos besar pula panggil, Lepas tu kementerian punya people datang kena entertain lagi. Uh, so, saya cakap dengan dia. Ha, dia lah. Patient complain lagi. And there's surat saman from page, uh, from uh, ni lagi. So, they are being, they got no time, you know, for themselves. So, that's why you tengok kes-kes uh, yang ada doktor bunuh diri tu kan. So, itu semua mungkin they are, uh, they are just, mungkin baru habis. Yeah, so, dia orang kena buat Houseman, ya, yeah, dia orang kena berapa tahun houseman Malaysia? Tiga lima tahun kan? Ha. So, they cannot. Ada orang dia tak boleh sustain tau. Because they feel that they have a very, they are obligated to the job. I have seen orang macam tu. Ya, yeah, one of my staff last time. Dia, dia rasa dia tak buat kerja. Dia rasa macam, oh, yo, my life is actually will be ending. Dia cakap tak apa. Tomorrow is another day. Tak apa, you tak payah habis hari ni. Tomorrow continue. Ada orang yang, ada staff macam tu. I've seen my staff, dia, terlamp, dia tak nak, dia kata, Puan, saya tak boleh balik lah, kerja saya tak siap. Saya kata, tak payah lah. kita ni bukan robot, kita manusia. Continue basuh, besok. You kena ada plan tau, cakap dengan dia. Aisyah, you kena ada plan. Contohnya, you nak habis, uh, you hantar report ni ke I satu bulan. You kena plan lah, you ambil kalender tu plan. Apa you nak buat hari ni, apa you nak buat hari ni. So, you tak adalah kelang kabut. Tangan dia menggigil tau. Dia tengok dengan dia, eh, kenapa you ni? Tangan menggigil-gigil sebab dia tak boleh habiskan kerja tu. And then hari masa tu, dia cik tengok jam je. Cakap kenapa ni? Because my my room is actually facing everybody. So tengok, dia tengok jam je. Kenapa dia ni menggigil berang tangan dia. Tengok dia very shivering and then toilet apa semua. So maksudnya dia tak comfortable lah. So I said, I can get cup here. Dia cakap, no, it's okay. You can go back. Dia kata, I need to pick, pick my son. Dia cakap, tak apa. Yeah, six o'clock, you clock in. You clock out, you can you can go back. You have to plan well. Dia cakap, jangan buat. You, I, saya bukan nak report besok, saya nak, saya nak, I already give you the time frame kan, when I did, I want, I want to, to have the report. Ha. You, ada orang macam tu, eh. they, they feel uneasy kalau kerja tak siap. Ya, yeah, kalau kerja dia tak siap. So, this is actually, you need to have, you need to check on all this kind of, uh, you know, uh, character, I mean, the, the, orang-orang yang mempunyai karakteristik macam ni. Okay, they are living among us. So, they are they are so unrest. Yes, selagi tak siap dia punya kerja. Yeah, so that is actually uh, fatigue. 
Okay, training and support. So, insufficient training. Yeah, training pun tak ada. There's no support from the employee. There's uh, to adapt the new system process. Boss cakap, oh, okay, I want to everybody to know the system by end of this month. Tapi training tak ada. Ingat kita apa? Boleh faham sistem tu sendiri. Okay, so, there's no proper training. There's no uh, proper process. Yeah. So, handover. Macam mana kita nak belajar? Yang contohnya macam they want to try to re, uh, transform. Yeah, kalau katakanlah from the new system to transform to the new system, uh, to old system, the new system, they have to give a, uh, macam IT dia kena ada certain uh, days lah. Janganlah tiba-tiba, okay, I want to have, I want to implement the new new system. CEO pun kena faham lah. Or maybe the head of AI, IT pun kena cakap lah dengan CEO tu. Uh, Tan Sri, kita tak boleh. Ya, dalam masa dua hari tak boleh kita kena buat backup, kita kena buat support. Kita macam-macam lah ada IT. Ha, mungkin dalam tiga bulan baru kita boleh implement sistem. Ha, so you kena cakap lah. You have to back your staff. Jangan dia cakap, okay, okay Tan Sri. Okay sebab you takut dengan Tan Sri. Okay Tan Sri. And then siapa yang mati? You punya anak buah yang mati. Sebab they cannot cope. ya. Yeah? Especially sistem yang baru ke sistem yang lama ke sistem baru. Ambil masa. Ya. Yeah? Ambil masa. So, when I look at them, masa tu, I work with the IT department. Dia cakap, kenapa you tak cakap you punya Tan Sri? Kesian lah you punya staff. Oh, saya tak tahu lah macam mana nak cakap. Macam, aduh. Ya. Yeah? So, you as a head, you kena berani tau. You kena defend. You kena, ya, yeah, you know that your staff cannot do it within one week. Dia kan tak boleh. Cakap dengan Tan Sri tu. Tan Sri, ini masalah dia kalau kita ni, ni. Ya, yeah, so nanti mungkin boleh data boleh be hang ke or maybe uh, storage capacity tak cukup ke maybe the processing ada problem ke so you have to inform them ini ini contohnya okay you have to sit down and Tan Sri you need to have three months uh, contoh barulah kita boleh convert to the new system Tan Sri mana dia tahu dia tahu beli keluar duit je ya yeah, so you have to inform ya yeah, because when you don't when you don't have if the if the I mean if the staff don't they don't know they don't have the training they are they don't they have the support you think they want to they want to adapt ke yeah something new i don't think so kalau saya pun saya tak nak adapt i don't want to adapt because i don't know the system nobody it department hr also never ask us to go for training and then expect us to what to learn ourselves what the about the system tantang kau lah i don't want to i want i don't want to do yeah okay so that is actually another problem yeah of changing Ya, yeah, something new. Okay, resistance from middle management. Macam saya cakap tadi lah, middle management pun suka-suka dia. Ya, tak nak. Ya, yeah. Macam saya cakap tadi, dia HR dah bagi circulation. You are not allowed loitering around the building. Smoking, ya, yeah, whatever. Ya, yeah. uh, membawang ke apa ke. Ya, yeah. uh, during office hours. Tapi middle management selama je panggil anak buah dia bukuk. Ya, yeah. So, macam mana you nak, how you want to implement change? Yeah, okay. L uh, lack of clear metrics. Tak ada uh, KPI, tak ada SOP. Yeah, that means, uh, uh, what do you call that? Measurement and evaluation inability to define clear or benchmark to assess the success and impact on the change. So, kita pun tak nampak. Yeah, what is actually kalau ada sistem baru ni, Ya, yeah, guna implement sistem baru ni, ada something uh, significant ke on the profit, profitability. Or maybe on our, um, you know, our work tu ada jadi kurang ke? Sama je. Ya, yeah, sama je. Kita kena buat juga benda-benda ni semua. Ya. Yeah. So that is actually uh, uh, lack of metric. Give me a minute ya. Yeah. <laughs> Apa ni lalamu datang pula sekejap. Okay, so uh, done. Okay, uh, metric tak, tak clear. Yeah. Metric tak clear, kita cakap, hmm, lama je pakai sistem baru ni, sistem lama. 
sister baru pun setengah jam repair, sister lama pun sama, there's no significant. So what is the metric? Yeah. Okay, and external factors, for example, uh, economic factors, market shape, uh, regular, I mean, the changes on the, uh, apa ni orang cakap, policy ke, yeah, Negri, uh, neg regulatory changes ke, yeah, contohnya macam, uh, yelah, maksudnya, poli, I mean, kita punya government tukar, so we expect, so everything like uh, GST, so we take, we take in place. Or maybe certain yeah uh, changes uh, from the for example maybe from the uh, economics yeah because our currency because our GDP also will reflect yeah on our changes itself so maybe because of that particular changes yeah it means our salary I mean the the <coughs> our value of salary yeah will be shrinking yeah why because of the ringgit Malaysia also shrinking the value is shrinking yeah so kita kita uh, I mean the the value that we the amount that we save yeah okay is actually will be shrinking yeah so that is actually sometimes you know it will reflect of this yeah kita punya domestic uh kita punya I mean uh, domestic changes yeah for example maybe in the, in your household yeah or maybe in your for example maybe like you you actually uh you know part-time students, so you need to have some money also to spend, you yeah, for your education. It will also change. Yeah? It will also change. So definitely, it will reflect you also. Yeah? You work, uh, and you work based as a, as a staff and also, I mean, you yourself, you yeah, working and also your personal, personal, uh, you know, uh, this one there also. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, that is actually the ten. So I I hope that you understand, yeah, what exactly what uh okay uh what I meant yeah of all I'm giving all this yeah as as your suggestion of answers, and then you have to reflect to the case study itself, yeah. Okay, tak apa nanti kita akan buat yeah nak bagi you faham. Okay, so the first question done. Now we go to the. Okay, this is the second question. Yeah, from the uh, still on the case study itself. So, jadilah berlaku lah apa apa something inside the case study. Yeah, and then my question, you have to focus uh, because if you never enter last week class, uh, you please listen to the recording. Please listen to the recording. Why? Because siapa yang tak masuk kelas last week memang tak faham apa yang saya tulis ni. Yeah, siapa sebab saya, I, you know who you are. Yeah. You know who you are, siapa yang tak tahu, and they say, Madam, I don't know how to answer this. Last week punya, week 5, listen to the week 5 punya uh, video. Yeah, video recording. So, siapa tak masuk last week, memang tak faham apa soalan saya ni. Yeah. So, it's actually a J curve. Remember, the first, uh, it's a plateau, second one is the cliff. Yeah, the third one is actually the valley. The fourth one is actually the ascent. Ascent tu maksud ascending. Maksud nak naik. Macam kita nak. Kita uh, plateau tu maksudnya rat, tanah rata. Ya. Yeah? Macam tebing tu. Tebing macam uh, cliff tu tinggi daripada plateau. Ya. Yeah? Cliff tu maksudnya lagi tinggi. Jurang. Jurang tu. Uh, plateau tu di tanah rendah. Ya. Yeah? When you talk about the first stage is actually plateau. The second one is actually the cliff. Uh, cliff tu yang jurang. Okay. Jurang tu saya tak, tak nak tanya. Sebab. <coughs> uh, and then the third one yeah, The third one is the valley Valley tu uh, antara dua bukit tu uh, That is the valley, lembah yeah, Bahasa Melayu dia lembah And the fourth one is actually the ascent nah, So Soalan saya tanya Macam mana you nak uh, uh, What do you call that How you want to Strategize the uh, J curve yeah, in the ascent stage Ha, dia ada masalah uh, dalam kes tadi tu. So, macam mana you nak perbetulkan how you strategize yeah, I don't want to have, I don't talk about claim, don't talk about money. Macam mana you nak yeah, uh, impro, uh, what do you call that, improvising the growth. Ha, so, maksudnya the J curve on ascent is actually you 
tengah naik. Ya, yeah, maksudnya you dah apa-apa yang uh, cabaran, the challenges just now, is actually now you have to uh, make it, uh, everything is actually growing up or ascending. Yeah, ascend. Okay, so please refer back to the previous yeah, uh, notes that I give it to you. The ascent refers to the phase where things start to improve. Ha, kan nampak? That's why they call it ascent. Yeah? Ascending. Descending menurun. Ascending. Ya, yeah, nombor-nombor. Kalau you belajar, masa dah jam 2 ke, jam 3. Nombor-nombor menaik. Nombor-nombor menurun. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is ascending. Descending. 10, 9, 8. That's descending. Ya. Yeah? So ascending is refers to the phase where things start to improve. Move upward again after experiencing a decline. Decline tadi tu lah. Cliff dengan zali. Yeah, reaching low point. Okay. So, ini notes ni saya, uh, last last week ini notes. So, your strategy, your uh, duty is to, apa nam, baca case tadi tadi, uh, case tadi yang uh, you baca nanti, you akan bagi strategies how to is, uh, do the Ascend Jacob stages. Okay. So, ada banyak. Again, pick yang sesuai. Yeah. Open communication, mungkin salah satu dia. Ataupun stabilization effort. Ataupun reassure uh, stakeholders. Ataupun re-evaluation on strategies. Ataupun uh, execution of new strategies. Continuous improvement. Celebrating success or learning and adaptation. Ini semua adalah dia punya. Uh, cara, ya, macam mana kita nak improve. But, remember, mesti sesuai dengan case. It should be, ya, yeah, okay. it should be in the range of the case. Ya, yeah. kalau you kata, uh, reinsure stakeholder, tak ada stakeholders pun, and then you just merapu and menulis, I will not give you marks, because you are not listening what I say. Ya, yeah. you, your answer should reflect the case. Cari, ya, yeah, cari jawapan yang reflect to the case. And then give example. Yeah. Give example. That means we are giving the actual what is actually what is actually happening in the case. What is actually been notified in the case. What is actually been stored in the case. The two yang we two list. Okay. So open communication is actually to encourage open dialogue. Yeah. Biasalah macam the cliff and valley masalah dah timbul. So macam mana you improvise? Open communication. Yeah. Encourage people to give a dialogue. To give their feedback to give uh, apa dia punya buah fikiran. Yeah? And then the second one, stabilization effort. Implement short-term strategies to stabilize the situation. Focusing on controlling losses and addressing the immediate issues. Macam mana you nak stabilkan the effort? Yeah? By having what? Yeah? Focusing on controlling losses. So, contohnya yang, yang sudah tu sudah lah. Yeah? So now we we implement a new thing. Yeah? So, you address the immediate issues that you feel that you need to focus first. Okay, that is actually the first, I mean, uh, example of strategies or maybe uh, certain strategies that you can do for your ascend, yeah, uh, Jacob. Okay, reassure stakeholders. Maksudnya, you kena fahamkan stakeholders. If the company is already lost or maybe it's actually out of uh, the market, macam mana kita nak fahamkan stakeholders ni? Stakeholders, it can be the media, it can be the public, it can be the customers, it can be the neighbors, it can be the communities, yeah, it can be the employee also, it can be the your competitors, yeah, it can be your supply, uh, your suppliers, yeah, it can be the reporters, yeah, it can be from the bank. So all this is actually stakeholders, mempunyai kepentingan, pemegang taruh, they call it, pemegang taruh that is actually stakeholders. So communicate with the stakeholders. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Stakeholders to reassure them of the organization commitment to overcoming challenges. Can you bring out? Contohnya macam dia kata, okay, for example, yeah, like um, company during the COVID nineteen, yeah, certain companies they cannot uh give their best, yeah, because of certain uh, MCOs, yeah. So they they inform maybe they inform uh you know black and white in in the paper or maybe in newspaper itself digital or maybe the uh, traditional one and then they have to inform yeah their customers about yeah their difficulties really to reach them or maybe to deliver contohnya macam uh, Shopee they dia yes, siang siang dah beritahu yeah because of COVID nineteen maybe because their operation have to be 
lambat on the delivery. So mungkin tak cukup yeah, because everybody is actually one push to buy the product kan. So they got maybe they have lesser resources for example the personnel. Maksudnya uh, kekurangan tenaga kerja nak hantar. So I still remember masa tu my uh, periuk nasi dah, dah rosak. Ya. Yeah? <coughs> so takkan nak pakai boleh lah pakai periuk-periuk biasa pakai uh, you know you use the stove. Tapi you dah biasa ya pakai so I, I, I tend to buy lah juga bila pula sampai uh, masa during covid ya yeah, 2021 you tahu bila saya sampai saya punya uh, periuk nasi it's not seminggu it's satu bulan baru sampai periuk nasi saya ya yeah, because I, I I did lah I did uh, send them messages and then they said we are so sorry ya yeah, sebab lambat sebab everybody is actually you cannot go out ya yeah, you bayangkan nak beli peti ais pun tak boleh Ya yeah, nak beli apa-apa semua ada certain uh, farmasi you boleh lah jumpa doktor klinik boleh lah tapi ada certain yang tak boleh masa yang first first uh, instruction tu so you tak boleh kedai kedai uh, elektrik yang masa first bukan yang dah second and third tu masa first semua kedai elektrik tutup time tu lah apa ni uh, iron terbakar time tu lah macam-macam lah ya yeah. so when I uh, I have to wait for one month baru saya punya periuk nasi tu sampai ya yeah. So that is actually how you reassure your stakeholders. Minta maaf sebab benda-benda ni semua you can't control. Can you control all this kind of uh, you know everybody is actually demanding one go ya yeah? nak hantar uh, barang-barang tu mana boleh sampai tiga hari tak boleh. Sebab demand is true is very high. Ada yang te- ada yang pecah lah, ada yang tak jumpa, tak sampai Ya yeah, sampai uh, sudah pun tak tak sampai lah during that time. Hmm, tapi saya keep on lah follow up. Ha, finally satu bulan baru sampai saya punya perut nasi. Okay, okay. And then the second one re-evaluation of strategies. Ya, yeah, so re- review existing strategies and also consider adjustment. Ya, yeah, to align the landscape. Hmm. So you can re-evaluation. Tengok strategies. Kenapa kita punya sales all down? Why is it? Why is actually down? Yeah. So you reevaluate your strategies again. The evaluate tu maksudnya you tengok balik strategies tu bang, okay ke tak? Yeah. So this is actually how you do your ascend. Yeah. Okay. Execution for new strategies. Melaksanakan yeah strategi yang baru. So you use ah uh, implement a robust strategies based on the insight gained during the decline phase. Decline kan tadi during cliff and valley when decline kan. So macam mana you nak execute ya yeah, new strategies. Ya yeah, continuous improvement, kaizen, ya yeah, innovation, redefine the strategies. Ya yeah, celebrating the success, ya yeah, acknowledge and celebrate the milestones. Sebab <coughs> you bagi dia orang spirit, ya yeah, dia orang bagi dia orang semangat. Ya yeah, kita we are now going up. Ya yeah, we are slowly going up as back on 2020 2022. Kita ni ah, adalah J-curve SN lah. Slowly we going up. Yeah. And then learning and adaptation. So we learn from our mistakes. So that is actually J-curve. Yeah. Ascend. Ascend punya stage. So use whatever it is and then relate to the case study. Okay. Alright. <coughs> ni apa ni. Okay. Resist of change. Yeah. Ni uh, slide ni tak banyak. Yeah. Slide dia ada 17 saja. So uh, we are actually... Uh, ada satu soalan tu, ya, yeah, uh, in the uh, case study tu, saya tak boleh bagi jawapan uh, answer scheme sebab dia have to relate to the case. You baca, you boleh jawab. Ha? Sebab resist of change ni adalah case study yang nombor dua. So satu tu, I'm so sorry, I cannot give you the, you the answer because you memang kena baca, you kena faham the situation, what is actually happening. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to the second yeah case study, which is the resist of change. So what people why people resist of change? Kenapa apa sebab? Yeah, because there's so many reason lah. Number one is actually they misunderstood. Yeah, the reason of yeah the changes is unclear. Dan macam tadi challenge lain ya. Eh? Ini orang tak nak challenge tu tadi resist of change salah satu. Tapi ini kenapa orang tak nak? Yang tadi tu uh, uh, orang cakap uh, challenge tu apa maksudnya you rasa macam oh payahnya nak buat change. Ha, itu. Ya, salah satu dia uh, resist of change lah. Yang ini pula soalan dia tanya kenapa orang tak tak suka change? 
Beza eh, challenge dengan terlain. Challenge tu maksudnya macam mana dia nak implement. Tapi yang ni, case study, case study, case study tu dah berbeza juga lah. Ini second case study. They said that, you akan baca lah, memang orang tak suka. Yeah, you can see that the staff is actually don't want to change. Yeah. So why? Because it's unclear. Yeah. Because they fear of unknown. Tak sure. Benda yang tak sure, mesti lah you takut. Macam COVID-19 kan, benda yang tak 2021, oh semua orang takut, ramai takut matilah sebab kita tengok statistik shows that dia kat hospital sedang tu, hari-hari orang cakap siapa yang masuk tu memang orang cakap twilight zone lah, siapa masuk hospital kena covid, my my cousin pun meninggal ya dia badan dia kena asma, badan dia besar uh, so <coughs> doktor cakap buat kita buat video lah, ya, tapi saya tak adalah dia, dia punya, because I'm just a cousin So family dia semua ya yeah, dah ambil gambar I amin mean, dah buat video call lah. Okey doktor cakap sebelum dia tidurkan. Ha oh, perkataan ditidurkan tu kita pun dah cakap ayo takut dia. Ya yeah, itu pun macam macam orang cakap dah dah is a time ready lah for you to leave. Ya yeah, macam dah dah satu uh, red flag ya yeah, ataupun satu signal lah you you about to go already ya. Yeah. So people are fear of that thing. Ya, yeah, tapi kita dah faham sekarang. Ya, yeah, macam saya ni, saya dah tiga kali kena COVID. Ya, yeah, kita pun dah faham about our body reflex, yeah, how we react towards our body. Ya, yeah, kita demam pun kita tengok, eh, demam ke aku ni dah dua hari lah. Kita pun dah panik, takut. Tapi the next day, ah, okay, terima kasih, thank you, Alhamdulillah. Ya, yeah, and then kita dengar, dengar batuk, oh batuk, batuk kita belas tam, batuk kita dengar kering, tapi dah ada flam. Ah, okay, good, that means you are improving. Ya, yeah. ini tengok kini punya flame warna apa. Ya, yeah. warna uh, last time warna hijau, ni warna cerah. Ha ah, okey. So that means we are adapting to our something which is we, we knew it already. We are prepared. Tapi kalau yang benda unknown ni, benda-benda yang kita tak tahu ni, ya, yeah, that's why kita serah saja. Kita something which is un, tak tahu, kita serah lah kita punya kita punya bahu, kita punya lengan ni because we want we need to protect ourselves. Ya. Yeah. So macam jadi manusia punya that is actually part of the puzzle of our our uh, our understanding lah benda yang tak sure kita akan jadi takut ya yeah, contohnya kita nampak hantu kita kan kita dimomokkan hantu ni oh muka dia gigi dia panjang semua benda yang kita tak pernah nampak kita nampak memang kita takut ya yeah? Tapi kalau you tengok uh, para, uh, paranormal yang yang selalu cari hantu ni, dia dah tak takut. Kalau dia tak takut, maksudnya dia bukan paranormal lah. Dia bukannya, ya sebab dia dah takut. Ada juga yang lari lah, ya. Tapi they are ready because they are prepared to to unknown. Macam kita ni, we are not prepared to unknown. Ya, something for example, ya, ya, uh, is uncommon. So people will resist. Benda-benda yang orang tak tahu. Contoh macam saya cerita ya, uh, during Y2K, ya, makcik-makcik yang dekat government server ni kena belajar. Lasa dia guna tak writer. Ya, kena belajar buat, um, apa ni, kena belajar komputer. Oh, masa screen tu dia kan, uh, kalau macam, aduh, kejap eh, ada orang datang lagi. Okay, so meaning that yeah, when you fear to unknown, yeah, that means you're you're not prepared. Your physical, your mental is not prepared. So that's people people uh, resist of change. Yeah, the third one is lack of competence. Yeah, this is a fear people will seldom admit. Ah, ha. kita rasa macam kalau hmm, aku dah belajar, tapi aku tak faham lah. Apa yang pun nama cakap ni nak kena engage, nak kena engage, nak kena engage. So I'm not really, you don't know because bukan semua orang level boleh sahab, 
uh, I, I, I press the button, you understand? No. Yeah, sometimes you cannot swallow or maybe sometimes you slowly not perhaps. Sometimes, you know, that's why I will train you how to do the, uh, in, in our class, kita buat. Yeah, kita buat macam mana. At least you have your idea. Yeah. So even though that maybe uh, during uh, degree, you dah, you dah, yeah, you dah, yeah, you have prepared yourself. Tapi mungkin, yeah, uh, something which is you dah lupa and then, yeah, uh, maybe you can recall back and then you can boleh buat. Maybe you you have the experience lah. Tapi kalau those yang tak, tak pernah, yeah, maybe your your degree or maybe you punya diploma memang buat apa ni, actually you tak pernah bagi case study, tu agak susah you nak jawab. Case study konsep dia lain eh. Macam structured, you boleh just jawab saja. Yeah, no. For case study, no. You have to base on the case. Okay, so lack of competence, so you rasa macam, oh, not competence, so tak boleh buat. Uh, this is how you feel. Yeah, sebab bukan semua orang have that, that particular level. Macam kita belajar kereta lah. Yeah, dah 10 kali ambil lesen pun tak pas-pas juga. Hmm. Sebab dia not competent. Ada seorang, ada orang yang ambil lesen L tu, oh markah tinggi. Ya, yeah, satu je salah. Ada orang 10 kali pun tak tak lepas-lepas L dia. So, not everybody have the same level. Ya. Yeah? So, everybody have yeah, their own level of competence. Ya, yeah, competency. Okay, next is Ya. Yeah, yeah. Saya punya ni memang berjalan-jalan. Okay, and then next one, low trust. You tak percaya. Yeah? Low trust when people don't believe that they or the company can comp uh, competently manage the team. But you rasa you sendiri pun tak percaya the management. You sendiri pun tak percaya company tu. Yeah, akan uh, buat. Yeah, sebab maybe you already experienced long time ago. Yeah, or maybe you already been working so many years. Alah, ni kejap je lah ni. This is just... Dia nak, mungkin nak takut-takutkan kita je. That is exactly the low trust. Ya, tak pernah jadi pun. Cakap nak tukar, nak tukar, tak tukar-tukar juga. Ya, okay. That is exactly the low trust. Okay, uh, contemporary temporary fact. Ya, yeah, when people believe that the change is exactly sekejap saja. Ya, yeah. contohnya macam uh, nak implement my sejahtera tu kan. <coughs> Why apa tu my sejahtera sekarang? That is a temporary fact. Orang tak pakai pun. Temperature, oh okay nak masuk dalam kena check temperature. Uh, kalau you demam tak boleh masuk. Uh, company beli mahal-mahal beratus-ratus tak pakai dah. Okay. So kita saya ingat lagi dulu masa uh, swab test tu. Yeah? Yang boleh cocok hidung yang boleh masuk saliva tu. Harga dia kat RM25 ke RM30. Sekarang harga baru RM6 lebih. So saya, yeah. I, I went to the pharmacy last last two days. I said, I, I look at the, you know, the COVID-19 media tester tu lah. Yeah, the test kit tu, cakap eh, produk ni dulu dapat, oh yo, mahal harga dia RM20. Itu dia, the pharmacy gelak lah, memang lah mahal. Masa tu harga dia RM20 kan, RM20 ke dekat RM30, satu kotak. Eh. <coughs> but now it's already about RM6, lebih je. Yeah? So that is actually the fact. Fact tu in in marketing, orang cakap uh, <coughs> uh, temporary. Uh, maksudnya benda tu sekejap saja. Yeah? It's just like macam musim. Yeah, okay. Not being consulted that means if people are allowed to be part of the change, they actually less resistant. People like to know what's going on. Yeah, uh, especially if their jobs may be affected. Contohnya macam dia nak accounts club. Yeah, katakanlah uh, the boss have to already bought a particular system. So what happened to her or him? Yeah, dia lah gaji si bulan B je accounts club kan. So kalau orang beli machine ke ataupun beli system ke apa yang terjadi dekat dia? Macam cleaner. ya. Yeah. So, contohnya kalau macam uh, all robot dah, dah boleh uh, ambil kerja dia. So, apa guna kita nak hire cleaner lagi? Baik kita ambil robot tu. Ha. So, what will happen to her? So, dia takut dia akan jadi. ya, yeah, Dia akan dibuang. ya. Yeah. So, maybe dia they are not in. Their, their job will be affected. Yeah, so inform employees tend to have higher level of job satisfaction than ununiform employees. You please off your mic. Yeah, those who actually I can hear your breathing in, breathing out. Japan, tidak. 
Okay. All right, poor communication. Tolo, please, yeah. Uh, uh, every one of you, yeah, I should have about 42 students actually. Yeah, write your name and also metric number. Nanti kan SKC, yeah, ambil semua you punya name, then you tak, tak, uh, tak letak nama you, nanti kan you claim, oh, saya datang pun, tapi nama saya tak ada. Tapi you, I was absent. Boleh. Okay, so poor communication. So this is also part of the, um, where, yeah, People resist of change. Communication tak ada. Not clear. Yeah. Contohnya, <coughs> kita tak tahu what is going on. Yeah. So, maybe certain, uh, they try to hide certain issues, certain uh, classified yeah, issues. So, macam mana kita nak tahu? Yeah. So, kita pun uh, always guessing lah. Yeah. Benda-benda yang kita guess saja. Uh, what will happen to us? Bila kita boleh, macam, macam during, during COVID ya, eh, apa akan terjadi? Kita akan fikir, eh COVID ni sampai bila ni? Takkan tak boleh keluar. You know, have you, have you, you saya, saya fikir dulu, eh takkan lah sampai bila nak mengah, tak boleh keluar ni, takkan, tak boleh ni. Eh, ya, boleh jadi gila lah di rumah. Ya, yeah? so ramai orang, ya, yeah, ada yang have, ya, yeah, when you don't convey what is actually going on, ataupun bayangkan kita tak ada, TV ke tak ada, tak ada radio kena inform all this information kita akan jadi ni tau kita akan rasa my goodness yeah that's the end of my life yeah nobody is actually informing macam uh, you are in the war yeah in the war itself katakanlah world war 2 sebenarnya uh, perang dah habis tapi you still assume perang tu ada lagi sebab there's no communication poor communication and then when you don't have the radio when you don't have TV you pun tak tahu the war is already over and that is actually how yeah sometimes you felt because you you feel that this is actually no like it's, it's not happening you feel that yeah you don't want because there's no proper communication between you and also maybe the management between uh the staff yeah so a top management is just hiding something yeah you get uh because hr hantar circulation uh, because of the company is not our financially difficulties. Yeah, we are having uh, financial difficulties. But maybe some of us we have to be. Some of you have to, or maybe some of among of us, or maybe listed of, uh, you know, uh, of the employee. Yeah, uh, listed employees we have to leave the company by taking MSS. Apa ni MSS? You never explain what is MSS. Definitely, it's actually part of the communication, and then you'll be. Yeah, the staff will be always, yeah, takut. Aku ke yang nak kena buang? Aku ke yang nak kena buang? Because they don't understand the concept of MSS. Yeah, mutual separation scheme. Maksudnya, they are, you are being picked because of your discipline is not good. Yeah, or maybe you are already about another one year to uh, retire or maybe nak, nak pencen kan? So, you are one of the, orang cakap, possibilities lah. They will take you. So, a few listed, uh, list, uh, you know, a few, uh, bukan semua orang, yeah, they will pick. Yeah, they will pick. Maybe the HR will pick lah all the senarai, yeah, uh, particular list, yeah, of names. That's why they call it mutual. Yeah. Volunteer lain. Volunteer, you volunteer maksudnya, you yang sendiri isi borang tu. And then they will pick mana satu yang nak berhenti. Yeah. Tapi mutual no. Mutual, they are the one who pick you. Yeah, they will pick you itself. So, ada sat salah satu caranya dia nak, uh, nak, tak nak bagi, make it obvious. Everybody has to fill up the form. Uh, it's as good that, macam voluntary scheme. Tapi sebenarnya, they already have the list. Uh, this is what HR told me. Amra, MSS ni sebenarnya, kita dah ada list lah. But we, we get everybody, yeah, to fill up the form. Yeah. So, macam volunteer lain. Volunteer, they don't have the list. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, adalah cara dia. Yeah. It's not the same as mutual. Mutual dia lain. Mutual, they have, maybe because of your uh, discipline. Yeah. Discipline. Maybe because of certain things lah. Yeah. Okay. So, that is poor, uh, poor communication. Okay. So, that is uh, first question of the second uh, uh uh, case studies and now you have to go for the 
Dewin. Ha, ini saya dah explain awal-awal kelas ni. Nanti minggu kedua ke minggu ketiga. Yeah. So uh, the question is actually you have to know yeah, <coughs> how this Dewin yeah, um, uh, three, three stage model ni uh, change ni berlaku. Maksudnya daripada haywire tu, maksudnya daripada unfreeze tu sampai ke freeze. Yeah. So you have to uh, what do you call that? Uh, answer it based on apa yang you baca. Yeah. So when you read, uh, is this unfreeze uh, punya stage? And then you suddenly look at, oh this one is change. And then refreeze. And then you put it. Yeah. You When you understand the three stages, yeah, definitely you know how to write. Okay. Alright, so for example, the unfreeze is actually unrecognize the need for change. Determine what needs to change, encourage the replace of the old behavior, ensure there is a strong support from the management and also yeah, management understand. Ini masa orang cakap, bayangkan air itu, yeah, macam mana pula dia nak bertukar menjadi pepejar, refreeze. Yeah? So of course, yeah, uh, ini yang berlaku yeah, in uh, what you call that in uh, unfreeze yeah unfreeze stages this is when yeah uh, preparing members organization yeah of the change yeah including they have to be ready they have to accept yeah they have to prepare so for example communicating of plan of change develop sense of need and urgency yeah they need to have the alliance they need to have the support they need to have, so they have to make sure everything is actually Prepare first. Macam kita nak beri perang, kita mesti ada armor, kita mesti ada bullet, kita mesti ada machine gun, kita mesti ada AK-47, kita mesti ada uh, you know, shotgun, kita mesti ada pistol, kita mesti, kita kena mesti ada uh, peluru. So this is actually <coughs> unfreeze. So apa you nampak unfreeze kat situ? Yeah. And then you go to your change. So change. Continue to provide support, milestones of completion, or small wins, you know, uh, and then eliminate the obstacle. So, masa uh, unchanged tadi, yeah, unchanged the first stage tu, memang akan ada banyak konflik. Change tu maksudnya, dia orang dah bersama-sama, bersetuju, and then they know already each other, they about to change. Ha, ni berlaku lah. They continue the support, the milestone, and then they will uh, eliminate halangan. Obstacle. Uh, ni change. Okay. Of course, ada juga konflik but yeah, they are, they, they are ready yeah, to change. Maksud, maksudnya macam uh, caterpillar, yeah, bulat meluncas tu, macam mana dia boleh jadi rama-rama. Yeah. So, masa tu memang uh, you nampak macam mana, macam mana satu ekor bulat meluncas menjadi satu rama-rama. Satu ekor rama-rama. So, proses tu ambil mas, uh, yes, bulat ke rama-rama. Air ke pepejal ataupun cube ice. So memang ada konflik kat situ. Yeah. But of course, at the end, they will be yeah, they will be refreeze. Meaning that everybody is actually having this. Maksudnya, the, the, the job is already completed. The task is already completed. Yeah. They they actually reward the success. Yeah. They give the uh, reward. Yeah, everybody bagi duit ataupun bonus. They adopt the culture. Tiga saja. Yeah. Tapi The challenge is you kena tengok all the stages. Tengok the stages lah. Mana stage you belah. Yeah, so masukkan ke dalam. Yeah, uh, unfreeze, change and also refreeze. Okay. So try to understand. Yeah, you boleh buka buku. You don't mind cakap puan. Saya still tak faham lah. Boleh buka buku. Boleh google. Tapi. Yeah, make sure. Yeah. That you write your own words. Okay. You can write your own words. Okay. And then. Uh, this is the last question. Yeah, improving the company culture. How you need to improve the company culture? Yeah, how you need to improve the company culture by effective communication. Yeah. Okay, so you need to understand the mission statement, value, and also uh, vision. Yeah, it helps create a sense of having a shared goal and shift your employee mindset from being. Yeah. Uh. uh I mean, <clears throat> maksudnya mindset tu kena betul kalah ya. Entry. Uh. To have yeah a uh, relationship and to have diffuse conflict maksudnya reduce the conflict transparency with your employees yeah you need to have the trust okay the lack of transparency can breed a culture of secrecy and mistrust 
Kena percaya you punya staff. Ya. Yeah? So memang susah lah. But it takes time. Ya. Yeah? Okay. Employee needs regular and balanced feedback. So a while, uh, yeah, if they are uh, to align their performance with their culture. So you should praise them. Yeah. And also behavior that match your value. So reward the employee and also yeah, uh, to be flexible in also work culture. So tengok, sesuaikan in the case and then pick maybe three or four. I mean three or four. Yeah, yang bersesuaian. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go to uh, the exercise itself. So I already give you yeah in the group yeah group WhatsApp. So we take a break yeah we take a break now because I want you to read yeah. Okay, so uh, let me read first. Let's bagi you faham. And then now it's ready 3.45. Okay, so I will give you half an hour yeah, to read. Okay, and then you have to answer the question. Okay, you have to answer the question. Okay, <clears throat> sebab saya nak bagi you uh, tahu macam mana you nak engage. Soalan yang in case. Yeah, soalan yang in case. So let's go. Okay, ni tak nampak ya. Apex Marketing. Okay, Apex Marketing Service and Conflict Management. Apex Marketing Service is a Vancouver company that has been in business for 25 years. Ini company, uh, dua company lah. Ya. Mungkin uh, they are subsidiaries company. So it is a family-owned fam uh, company with 25 employees. Yeah, tak ramai lah. Yeah. So there are 16 employees between the age of 21 and 32 who have been with the company for an average five to nine, five years, and nine employees who are actually over 50 and have over 20 years experience. Company ni besar lah, yeah. Company ni dah uh, experience lah. Tapi walaupun dia ada 16 saja. Is only 25, tapi dia company ni already established. Okay. So the company offers public relation and uh, advertising services to real estate companies in Vancouver. Sorry, Vancouver lah. Vancouver, yeah. In the last three years, Apex has been slowly losing customers. Last three years. Ha, ni masalah dia. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the masalah is already <coughs> arise. Yeah. Arose from the five uh, the, the last three years itself. So the owners, without first talking to employee, owner dia ni, dia ni family, eh? family, family business, decided on the following cha uh, change management plan. Starting immediately, all employees will work 10 hours a day. Kita biasa kerja 8, dia belajar kerja 10. 40 hours a week. Yeah, a week. Instead of 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week, five, five hours. So, maksudnya 40 hari dia kerja untuk 4, 40 jam. Okay? Okay, biasanya 40 jam ni, 5 hari ni, 40 jam, 4 hari. Okay, so some, some will work on Monday to Tuesday. Some will work on Tuesday to Friday. And others will work Wednesday to Saturday. Hmm. Maksudnya, dia berapa hari tu? Monday, Man, uh, uh, apa ni? Isnin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis. Empat. Yeah. Tuesday, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumat. That means empat, empat, empat lah. Yeah. So that means you have to work four days with 40 days. Yeah, 40 hours. 10 jam satu hari. Okay. Uh, and others we work on uh, Saturday. Yeah, Wednesday to Saturday. Instead of having four separate days of work, research, public relation, advertising and copywriting with the manager or for each, there will now be four teams set up. Yeah. So each team will have one person each from uh, from the all four units or seen by team leader. So last time Joran dah ada ni, tapi Joran ada uh, what do you call that? Four teams set up lah. Dia pada empat. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four of the, the units itself. Okay. So the Team manager will no longer exist. Ha, sebab dah ada team leader baru. Yeah. So manager ni dah orang cakap dia pakai the, only the status lah. Ha, dia tak ada dia tak ada kuasa. So there is no change of pay for any of the job and no planning training or retraining. 
give me a minute yeah yeah Shopee, another Shopee. My son beli barang, lepas tu saya yang kena bayar. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, manager last time is actually every unit are the manager. But sekarang, no. They have the team lah. So, the team will uh, have four teams. Yeah, they have teams. So, mungkin dia campur. So, they, the, the manager is actually uh, losing the power. Yeah. So, no more exists. There is no change for the pay or any jobs. And no planning. Uh, training or retraining. Tak ada. Yeah. Okay, the question is, if you were a consultant of the company, discuss three challenges that you have discovered in the case. Apa yang you rasa the challenges? Uh, this is actually cara lah. Contohnya macam saya bagi soalan tadi. Uh, okay, ni contoh lah. So, apa yang you discover? Uh, kalau you tak faham the case, definitely you will not, you don't know how to, how to answer. What is the challenge? Okay, kalau you bagi jawapan yang saya bagi, yang uh, you baca dekat saya punya jawapan tu, boleh saja. Tapi, you never, if you never relate contohnya, Apex company, yeah, or maybe the employee, 21 to 22 years old, or maybe 50, or, or maybe the working hours, yeah, or maybe the manager have no uh, longer exist, definitely you cannot, cannot get the, uh, I mean, uh, the marks also. Okay, number two. <clears throat> Analyze three ways to implement change in the company. How to implement the change? Kalau ada challenges, contohnya you already put the challenges and then how to implement the change? If you are the consultant, macam you nak implement the change? And in your opinion, explain three, yeah, why change sometimes fail. Sometimes, not some fail. Not sometimes, yeah. so, uh, for error, yeah, sometimes fail. Yeah, sometimes fail. Some fail. Yeah, sometimes fail. Okay, kenapa? Sometimes, uh, you know, change is actually fail. Macam hmm. resist of change lah. Yeah, resist of uh, change. Uh, that is actually the, uh, I mean, the meaning lah. Okay, resist of change. Kenapa orang resist? So, you have to base on the case. It's as good as that. So, uh, remember eh, what, when, yeah, where, how, yeah, so you implement this, yeah, implement this, uh, if you want to be critical, you jawab, contohnya soalan, yeah, challenges, ha, media Amra kata kata, what, apa yang berlaku eh, kenapa dia berlaku, why, bila dia berlaku, when, oh, when tu mungkin, uh, uh, for example, uh, what tu maybe is the company lah, the company name, Apex, or maybe it actually happened to the staff, or maybe maybe it's not even. So for example, maybe the uh orang ni, for example, nine employees is actually over fifty, yeah, and twenty one, twenty two is actually maybe sixteen. Uh, so, uh, sixteen is actually sixteen plus nine is actually twenty five. Okay, contohnya. So how? So of course their thinking is not the same as those who actually already have fifty and above. Ah, uh, so you think about the challenges macam mana? How? Okay, and then. Uh, of course, the culprit is actually the owners lah. Because dia buat dia punya, dia punya planning tu, suka-suka dia je. Never man, never ask yeah, from the employee. But ini company dia. Yeah, family family business. Okay, so I want you to, I want to see how, yeah, you implement, yeah, the one that I said, yeah, okay, uh, through the questions itself. So, contoh ni macam ni, discuss three challenges. So, first one will be, he said that the challenges is, that uh, uh, the owner itself is actually implementing yeah, the plan without concerning yeah, of the staff itself. Yeah, of the 25 staff who are actually working in Apex. Yeah, Apex advertising, blah, blah, blah. Macam tu lah, you jawab. Kena jawab based on, jangan cakap staff saja. Staff apa? Apex marketing services and conflict management Apex marketing service. 
Siapa? Who are actually they what the what? 25 employees of the company. Okay. And the owner of the company of Apex Marketing Services and Conflict Management. Conflict Management Apex Marketing Services is um, they are not sensitive enough in asking. They are asking the recommend. I mean, asking uh, the staff of their staff, which is a twenty five employees. So masuk company mungkin ni semua into their yeah answers. So it become critical. Yeah, it become critical. So you kita buat yeah kita buat we try first yeah we try first. Why is it WhatsApp again? Nah, Shamala. Oh, okay, Azri. Azri baru masuk. Someone asked for the link, Prof. That's why I gave the link back. No, but Azri, is this your first time entering my class? This is actually the last class already. I don't know. Okay, never mind. All right, so uh, please prepare. Yeah, I I give you until uh four thirty. Yeah, tak apa. I kalau salah pun tak apa. Yeah, we 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 tend to improvise. Yeah. Oh, from here okay so i'll see you then at 4 30 so read first yeah read first and then pahamkan dulu and then baru you boleh jawab soalan ni okay i'll see you then empat setengah ya eh. kita jumpa bye uh, for azri uh, i think i have to add I mean, uh, kalau you baru add, you takkan nampak you punya sebab saya dah hantar. Yeah? Uh, so, I will put it here in the uh, chat. <coughs> I put it in the chat. Yeah? Uh, Zoom chat. Sebab dalam WhatsApp tu nanti you takkan nak. Sebab saya, you baru add, so you tak nampak dia punya. Dia punya ni. Dia punya document. So, I already put inside. Yeah? Okay, now it's ready. You can see. Hmm. Okay, please answer. By 4.30, I'll meet you again. Bye.
Okay, it's already uh, four thirty. So let me see your answers. <clears throat> Okay, so for example, um, <clears throat> I Washington already <clears throat> okay stated resist to change yeah because of uh long term and also age staff yeah uh <clears throat> disengagement okay how I give I, I give uh, what do you call example I I asked Washington to give example yeah so Washington said. Uh, may not agree on change of work hours and days. They may use of existing method, experience stuff. Okay, but Sintel, I I get what actually your what is actually you meant of that. But you have to engage something. For example, when you say resist of change, you know mostly long term and age stuff. Okay, let's have a look at uh long uh long term and also age stuff. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look at the. Apa ni, the, the information given in the case. So, you have to put, for example, nine employees who are over 50. So, you have to write nine employees who are over 50. And, uh, for example, age. Uh, so, you see this age. It's meaning this now. There means nine employees who are over 50. So, that is actually your. Yeah, you don't just uh, summarize it. You have to write. Whatever information that you have seen in the case, uh, that is exactly how you answer. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, hours and days. Uh, so, what is actually hours and days? How many hours are they actually working? So, 40 hours, yeah, five working days. Uh, last time is 40 hours a week, five working days, five work days. So, this is exactly how you write. You have to give the terms inside the case studies. Uh, yeah, don't just uh, summarize it. Yeah, don't just summarize it. Oh, okay, they are actually working long hours, blah, blah, blah. Long hours, berapa? How? Yeah, long hours, how? So from, yeah, uh, uh, for example, maybe, uh, you divide lah, okay, 40 jam, bagi dengan 5 berapa hari? Berapa jam satu hari? <coughs> okay, so, and then you say that, now it's 10 hours a day. Now it's actually 10 hours a day, and then instead of last last time, yeah, sekejap, sekejap, yeah. Last time is actually uh, 80, 40 divided by, yeah, 40 divided by 5. Uh, so, of course, that uh, is 8. So, 8 hours a day and uh, was last time. And now it's 10 hours a day. So, you have to write like that, yeah? You have to write like that, meaning that when you write like that, it means uh, instead of you just uh, say long hours and, and uh, you know, long hours itself, you specified you specified the time yeah uh because yeah the, the staff have to work eight hours a day yeah from yeah eight hours a day which is 40 hours in four weeks in four days instead of eight hours a day which is uh, 40 hours of uh five working five work days yeah five working days so this is actually how you answer don't just simply summarize eh? tak mau. don't summarize eh? don't summarize Okay, you punya kerja have to detail it out. Okay, so, uh, okay. Uh, Izian, uh, challenges, lack of communication. Apa, macam mana yang lack of communication? Say, kalau you bagi soalan, jawapan macam ni, saya bagi lima maka, uh, 10 maka saja. Sorry. Uh, kalau 15, saya bagi 7.5 saja. You have to detail it out. So, Izian, okay, lack of communication. Apa, macam mana you tahu is actually lack of communication? Give the example. Uh, lead to decreased engagement. So, macam mana you rasa ni lack of communication ni? And you pick from the the one that I give it to you. So, how do you give example of lack of communication that you have seen in the case? Ah, tulis izian. Okay. Or maybe you say, you say second uh, need to adapt to the new cult new structure. Macam mana? How? Yeah. New no training provided. How? Okay. Involve employee in the decision making process. How? Implement training or retraining to adapt their yeah, new roles. Okay, ini you bagi just, yeah, the general issues, the general answers. I want you to give example to make it more critical. Tanya diri you, how? You jawab and you say, macam mana eh? How? Okay, when you give uh, how, when you answer how, that means you, you put inside the example. Okay? Okay, okay Idora. <coughs> Challenges. Employee having difficulties. Again, macam mana? 
Yeah, employee have a difficulties to change due to don't uh, proper training. How? From where you get the the uh, maybe uh, what do you call that? Manetadi. Hmm. Where did I put? Yes, yeah. Okay, from where do you say uh, just now? Uh, Idora, employee have a difficulty to change due to don't have proper training. Money, 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 you let them back. From where you see this? Okay, proper training. Yeah. Okay, no change, uh, no change of pay and uh, okay at the end of the uh, uh body at the end of the statement lah, there is no change for pay for any of the job and no pro uh, planning training or retraining okay so <clears throat> okay yeah <clears throat> because i need to change all the screen i need i need to read Okay, so change in the working hours shed. Okay, uh, Idora say employee have a difficulty to change due to don't have proper training. Uh, so in, put, put it in a complete, yeah, proper training or retraining. Yeah, no pay, something like that. Yeah, no pay, yeah, no pay. <clears throat> no pay, no change of pay, yeah, of any job. No no planning training or retraining. You put it in in. In a very complete, yeah, as what you have read and you have discovered in the case. <clears throat> so you write uh, in, in full. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Ah, Kabilan, pagi kelas tak masuk ah. Okay, uh, employee feel neglected due to no communication from the management with team, thus employee don't want to pay. Macam mana ni? How, how, how? How you say that there's actually lack of communication, neglect of communication, uh, due to communication, and then uh, you say that employee don't want to change. So, macam mana? How this thing happen? Although uh, employee resist to change due to feel uh, unease yeah, with previous culture. How? Yeah, don't just summarize it. Yeah, I want to have very detailed. Yeah, focus on the case. Kabilan, change, um, change in working hours. As I mentioned lah, letak lah the 40 hours and stuff, yeah, for four days, yeah, they are some of the staff, they are working, yeah, from Monday to Thursday, some of them working to Thursday to Friday, you have to mention all this, yeah, age and experience differences, berapa umur dia orang, yeah, don't just summarize it, lack of employee, employee involvement, how, how you say that, okay, don't just give me all the general answers, okay, easy end. Lack of communication due to the owner decide on the new structure without taking, yeah, talking to the employee. Okay, apa new structure dia? Yeah, what is the new structure? <clears throat> okay, so the owner itself go back. Or every every if you find, yeah, if you feel that uh your answer is actually very general, go back to the case study and then read again and again. Yeah. Uh you have to mention the company, lah, Apex Marketing Service, or you put a short form, AMS, yeah, AMS, you put a short form, or maybe uh, CMAMS, Complete Management, yeah, C, uh, CMAMS, you have to write, yeah, don't just write the company, the company, the company, you have to write the name of the company. Uh, so the owner said, because the owner is actually giving Decided a new change of management plan, such as, uh, such as what? The 10 hours of 40 hours, uh, of 40 hours a week. Uh, so you just write what is actually the plan. Don't just leave it blank. Don't just leave it blank, okay? Or just don't summarize it. Okay, apa lagi? Um, Kabilan, okay, no training provided to adapt. Uh, so, but, tulis, tulis, yeah? Okay, there's no change to pay. Ah, okay, All right. The company, the uh, AMS, you put put Apex. Uh, AMS. Yeah, you write. Don't don't put write. Uh, don't write company 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 AMS. The company name is AMS. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, now we uh, move on. No training uh, with the new... Uh, sama juga lah ni, yeah. Uh, how to conduct uh, 10 hours rather than 8 hours before. Bagi, bagi detail, Azri. Yeah, you detail out the time, 40 hours of, of, in a 4 days. Yeah, and then some of them have to work Monday to Thursday. Some of them Monday to Tuesday. Some of them Wednesday to Saturday. Right. Advise employee to work within manager but only have team leader. Uh, macam mana? How? How to convince employee not to live in a company? Because it's going up. <coughs> Again, yeah. macam mana, macam mana, macam mana? <coughs> okay. How to convince employee of not living? Somebody when job change but pay at the same amount. Okay, give example. Or maybe you said IE. Yeah, example. Okay, three changes. Sama juga eh. The change lack vision. There is no clear explanation about the change need to happen. Ah, ni semua adalah very very general. I want to have all the detail inside. So sorry. Yeah, uh, Suhaida. Letakkan example Suhaida. Okay, Shamala. Okay, the owner decide to... Uh, okay, still Shamala. I need to have more numbers. More numbers, more name. More activities inside. Okay. Because maybe you have not familiar how to do the case study in your question. Yeah. You you are answering very general. You are you are have you have to tell in depth. Yeah. To engage. Yeah. For example, the owner decided on a significant change without consulting. Yeah. So macam mana? Yeah. What are this owner is actually changing? Yeah. Okay, shift or work hours. Tell. Tell what is actually inform, yeah, how many hours they are working, what is actually the shift with uh some of them have to work, yeah. Uh Monday to Thursday, some of them have to work Monday, Tuesday to Friday. You have to tell you have to write. Okay, so we have to code whatever is yes, there in the case code. study. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, so, Nadia, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Nadia, how how Nadia answer? The three challenges is covered Apex marketing uh, service. Kalau you tak nak tulis panjang-panjang, you just put AMS lah. Yeah, AMS. That's C-M-A-M-S. Hmm. 48 hours ke? Hmm. Okay. Okay, changes of work from 48 hours a week to 40 hours a week. Okay, you check, yeah. You check back your, your point, yeah. Beside this, no proper plane training. Uh, the 25th employee, okay, 25 employees. Apex relate to the new team. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, so this is actually, you nampak tak? There's numbers, there's name, there's weeks, there's hours. Yeah, but you have to check your, I mean, collect, you have to check on the point itself, yeah? You have to make sure that it's actually correct. Okay, okay. and one more, please. At least you have some idea, yeah, how to answer. Okay, I one more from you. <clears throat> Cepat, tulis. Kalau you tak boleh answer all, yeah, just answer number one. I want to see how you write. Answer number one tu, cukup lah. Nombor satu pun cukup. Okay, Nadia is actually giving uh, some improvement, yeah, how to answer. So, this is actually how you answer in case study. Yeah, not just summarize it, yeah. You have to mention the particular information that you have seen in the case. Contohnya nama... Yeah, contohnya uh, uh, umur, yeah, contohnya how many years experience, contohnya weeks, yeah, contohnya for example maybe you can write the Tuesday, uh, Friday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Friday, uh, Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Saturday, uh, something like that. Okay? Mm, okay, good. Faham eh? Uh, so I want to have more, at least you, you train yourself how to, yeah, how to write, how to write well. I should have more. Takkanlah berapa orang je yang jawab. Yeah. I need more please. And then you expect me to give good marks. Yeah. If you don't want to train yourself, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You challenge yourself. Yeah. You have to risk yourself. Yeah. Be brave. Jawab. 
Ya, salah tak apa. At least I, you prepare ya, yourself to be how to answer well later ya, in the actual final assessment. What happened to the rest? I want to see only the same people they answer. Okay, please. I, I'm waiting. Jawab satu soalan pun boleh. The first question is uh, is enough. Some of you is actually from my previous class. At least you know how I, yeah. You should know my style. You should because you, I already taught you, yeah. <clears throat> uh, what do you call that? How to how to how to answer case study question. Ada lagi tak? Ada nak jawab? Okay, just kita just scribble here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, for example, maybe if you are still confused yourself, so for example, the three challenges, yeah, so maybe you, the terms, yeah, for example, maybe the terms that you're familiar with is a, uh, Apex Marketing Services, yeah. And also the company, uh, what? Um, confused, right? I can't remember lah. So, yeah, yeah, the the subsidiary company lah, Conflict Marketing, yeah, AMS. Okay, and then after that, you talk about, uh, for example, the name itself, the owner. Kalau ada owner tu nama, letak nak owner tu punya nama. Okay, and then for example, maybe you said the first one, the challenges is actually they are. Uh, the owner, yeah, the owner itself, the owner, yeah, uh, was not sharing, yeah, the, uh, what do you call that, the company plan, yeah, company planning, yeah, throughout, yeah. Uh, all the staff, all the employment, all the employees. <clears throat> okay. Okay, well, for example, i.e., um, so you give the example. Yeah. So you when you give the example, this is actually critical, critical already. So what is the, exa the example itself just now? Yeah, change of working. Okay. Um, <clears throat> kita tengok what is actually uh, changing yeah because it's uh, the owner itself yeah they are actually changing about the management plan yeah so they have to work 10 hours a day yeah instead of 8 so for example okay for example Okay. <clears throat> the employee yeah, of AMS okay, had to work 10 hours a day. Okay, the liars forty hours for four days. Okay, okay. And then maybe you can add the second one. Yeah, the owner also plan. the employee or maybe the staff yeah to work four 
days a week and the staff are uh, uh, were seg I mean the staff were segregated with different different working days such as Monday Thursday Tuesday to Friday Wednesday to Saturday Okay, so ini semua adalah how you answer, <clears throat> yeah, how you answer the the first question. Just the first one, just the first point itself. It means the owner are not sharing, yeah, the company, uh, the company planning yeah, throughout all the employees itself, yeah, or maybe they don't share. Uh, so this is the challenges. So when they accept challenges, so they have to implement the change. Okay, so. This is how you do it, yeah? With the with the date, with the hours, with the company name. If the owner have the name, put the owner's name, yeah? So that is case studies. Ah, uh. uh, Yenting, uh, still. Um, okay, uh, involvement in communication, lack of employee involvement in decision-making process. How, how, how? How? How you say that the 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 lack of employee informal process? Which one? How? The owner make a different change to uh, yeah you know, the schedule itself. You have to write the one that I put just now. Yeah, the one that I write just now. Okay, as we said. Okay, no training. Uh, uh, rather than eight hours before. So uh, employee work. Uh, okay, this is good. This is how you do it. Yeah, this is assessment. You know, this is not a final exam. Final exam you have limitation to write now. Yeah, you have to submit on 31st of December. So don't give me reason that you got no time to write, you know, very detailed. Okay? So, write, write. At least you write. At least you know how to, yeah? So I want more, please. I should have half of your, uh, half of the uh, students. Baru berapa saja yang jawab ni? Yeah, less than 10. I need to have more, please. Train yourself, yeah. Train yourself. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, Khalifa. Hmm. Okay. Employee resistance, sudden change in the work. Okay. What lagi, uh, Khalifa? Yeah. That means you have to write more detail. Lack of training. Yeah. The new team structure requires uh employee to work in a different environment with different people. So how? Yeah, work life uh work life balance. No longer okay, eight hours a day. Could, uh, so detail out lah, detail out. Yeah, detail out how. Yeah, is it actually the one that you want to uh, the one that you mentioned, detail it out by giving example that you have seen in the case. Yeah, for example, work life balance, that means they, they are working yeah, 10 hours a day, which is longer than the usual eight hours. And then apa lagi work life balance as you can see in the in the in the case study. Apa lagi you nampak? Okay, apa lagi you nampak? Yeah, work life balance. Okay, this one I delete lah ya. Yeah. <coughs> Bijak ya. Yeah. So what do you have seen some more work life balance uh, here? Okay. Hmm. Some of them have to work on Saturday, you see? On Saturday, of course, yeah, we declare, I mean, our work day is exactly ending Friday. Yeah, but then some of them have to work on Saturday. Don't you feel that is actually work life balance? Uh that is another. You have to put the point. Again, yeah, you have to read. Yeah, the case study many times in order for you to understand. Yeah.
know, what is going on in the case studies. So when you say the work life balance, it's actually yes, that is actually instead of eight, now it's actually working 10 hours a day. You lupa because some of them also have to work on Saturday, see? And others will work on Wednesday to Saturday. So others do, definitely it will, yeah, it will reflect on the work life balance because Saturday and Sunday is actually the family day. It's for the me time, it's for you to relax. You have to be working, maybe you work only Monday to Friday. Yeah. So the Saturday and Saturday and Sunday is actually for you to relax, but you have to work on Saturday. Some more is actually ten hours, so it's actually ridiculous. So there's no work, yeah. There's actually no balance here. Yeah, work-life balance is definitely out of the question. So this is actually how you answer. Nampak ni Wednesday to some of the staff have to work on Wednesday to Saturday. Please improvise. Try try to improvise. Hmm. Apa lagi? Siapa lagi? Come on. Some of some of you left because maybe you don't want to answer. It's up to you lah. Yeah. You did your own grief yet. Yeah. I try to help only. <clears throat> Siapa lagi? Siapa lagi? Come on. Yeah. At least you give your example. At least you give when you give your answers, give example. Because I want to save you to. Uh, to I want to give, I mean, I want to, I mean, help you to get, to get more marks. Yeah, if your marks is just passed, susah lah. Okay. Because the case study that I give it to you is actually about four pages. One, one with four, four pages. One is actually three pages. Yeah. So you have to understand well the case study itself. Okay. So, um. Okay, analyze three ways to implement change. Okay, so show me, or maybe you can give me some uh, particular example. Yeah, three ways to implement change. So you the harder challenges, ah, you change. So how you change, for example, the owner itself just now. Yeah, if you are the consultant, so how you have to advise the owner, saying that you they have to they have to make sure that they have to get be notified. Yeah, be notified. Yeah, earlier about the changes because otherwise, because some of them they have their own, you know, uh, problem. Yeah, maybe they have to pick their son. Yeah, uh, if you if they are working ten hours itself, what happened? What they cannot pick their son. Yeah, maybe from school. Yeah, they cannot send the son to uh, you know, they cannot fetch the son and then send send to uh to 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 home. Yeah, to to the uh maybe to the uh. Meaning that from the school to, to, to your house itself, yeah? So because you are actually working eight hours, uh, sorry, 10 hours. So that means definitely you have so many, yeah, so many uh, problems that you face later. Uh, so what is actually the change that you think? Yeah, the first one just now, yeah, the challenges is the owner itself, they never, uh, they never notify, they never give any notification yeah, to the employee itself. So how you have to implement the change. So kalau you up, if you have this kind of problem, yeah, if you are the consultant, how you need to uh, say it to the owner? <clears throat> the owner and the leader must go uh, for training and leadership and also communication skill, so they can communicate better in, with the employee. Ah, uh, training pun okay lah, okay can be can can be accept, accepted, but. Tak payah nak pergi training lah. Meaning as a consultant, don't, don't tell me, yeah, the owner have to go for training. I mean, this thing is something which is, uh, as a consultant, maybe you say that, okay, uh, as a consultant of your company, yeah, I think you have to uh, notify earlier. Give the advice, yeah. It means they have to restructure the strategies. Yeah, remember just now, uh, you I men uh, mentioned just now, restructure something which is cannot be used before, you have to change it. Yeah, you have to change yeah, for the betterment of the staff. So at least they're ready. That means they have to inform earlier. For example, maybe some notification, maybe three months before or six months before. They are prepared. Yeah, When you are prepared, that means your physical, your mental will be prepared. Tak payah nak hantar pergi training lah. Training tu semua nanti kalau dia tak nak implement pun, they will never change. Yeah. So first, maybe you said that yeah, they have to look again or maybe they have to uh yeah 
notify the the thing i mean the whatever plan before yeah before okay <clears throat> uh what sentence say same people yeah first the company must share the problem ah yes brainstorming this is good yeah this is good okay the company decision to change work uh, hours and all the uh, days restructuring team okay some okay okay the, for the question number two yeah this is actually that's why you can see the question number two is actually in your okay i i put it like this yeah i put it like this the question is actually uh, I, I put it uh, analyze three ways to implement so meaning that there's nothing to because the case study is all about something what is actually punished what is actually happened yeah uh maybe this is actually not good yeah uh, of the company itself so when you say when when you feel that there is actually nothing inside that uh you feel that uh there's no uh evidences or there's no some there's no uh terms you know there's no activities yeah that involved in the case study that can support you on giving your answers on on supporting your answers you can have your own yeah explanation yeah because i'm actually asking analyze three ways to implement change from the challenges that you have to uh, encountered so uh, the first one the owner is not sensitive enough so how they have to do okay the first one it means you have to consult you have to consult the owner and then try to advise him uh, maybe brainstorming or maybe they have to inform earlier yeah of all the changes because this is something which is just new thing it's a very drastic dra drastic uh, structure from 8 to 10 yeah drastic lah yeah because you have so many uh, commitments that you have to do after 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 work yeah so maybe you have to uh, stay maybe your your wife is actually a nurse and then you your nurse you mean your wife had to uh, work yeah night shift so you have to be home early so all these kind of things, there's thousand and one things of reason that you cannot work 10, 10 hours. So at least when you know, the owner uh, inform uh, the, the the changes of the structure early, so at least yeah, the husband or maybe you know the mother who take care of your children, yeah, they will know. Yeah, that means they are prepared themselves. What is going on? Okay, so maybe uh Vasantan said, yes, yeah, they have to. <clears throat> Meaning that uh if a sentence said, okay, the company should uh, must share the problem and do brainstorming with the uh, uh, key staff. Okay. Kalau tak ada, tak apa. Kalau ada, you have to give example. Yeah. Okay, it depends on the case study itself. Yeah. So for example, the company could have changed the team structure first and evaluate the outcome first. Ah, okay. It is not solving the problem when only go for change on working hours that the company invests in training and employee and the staff may lack of. So what is actually the problem, the, bot the bottom rock problem here? The bottom, yeah, the rock bottom uh, problem of this company is actually they are, they are not doing, I mean, their sales is down for the past three years. Uh, so that's why they took car master too. Yeah, the car master, they, yeah, but they, they, uh, they actually, you know, they 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 not invest in training itself. They have forgotten about the work life balance. Yeah, because some of them have to work on Saturday. Uh, this is all. Yeah, you have to give some example. For example, maybe yeah, the one that you uh, the one that you highlight. You know, for example, yeah, uh, the brainstorming. Yeah, some uh, or maybe. Uh, you, you give the, the second answers the, uh, the change must be done gradually for example the company should have changed the team structure first and also evaluate yeah the outcome first so this will not solve the problem when only to change on the working hours so uh, you give example whatever reflected yeah in the case okay so this is good okay this is good percentage that means we improve so uh nadia to ensure the implementing change is like the company uh, owner should uh, shall involve and participate the 25 employees in decision making changing process working hours and the team as well the owner uh, affects can conduct a survey uh, okay good good not just put yeah um uh, 
uh, saya faham lah, you want to impress, you know, all these 35, yeah. But look at Washington punya, sebab I know the changes is, the answer is not there. But try to get some example that, yeah, you you you, you feel that you can support, yeah, the the argument that you have, yeah, the base of argument that you have given, yeah. So Washington, yeah. I like uh, the style of your, uh, you know, giving the exam. I mean, uh, the answers itself. So remember, yeah, when you give an example, it become critical. Okay. So Nadia, tak payah lah. You nak ulang balik the twenty five employee to employee two. Try to pelbagaikan, you know. Yeah, you nak buat contohnya nak buat uh, uh, masak cili api. Yeah, tak semestinya you nak kena pakai the same ingredients yeah sometimes you have to improvise also yeah contohnya nak pakai cili api yeah you boleh pakai cili merah ataupun cili burung ataupun cili apa kan yeah? tak semestinya the same ingredients that you going to use so you improvise ya yeah? tak payah you nak macam tadi tu 25 tu uh, employee tu mungkin satu sekali sajalah you pakai yeah? so if you give another example yeah you give another yeah uh, maksudnya, you nak engage to another point, you give another example. Yeah, Fahamkan situasi. You have to understand the case study well. Okay, when you say, um, apa, beside the proper training shall be conducted to the team leaders. Uh, sebab soalan yang nombor dua ni, dia tak banyak. Yeah, because I, I want you to think out of the box. Yeah, Sebab case study tu, kadang-kadang soalan dia is actually like, Outside of the box, you have to think. Yeah, you have to think and give example in regards to the case. Okay. All right. Uh, Hidayah said, uh, inclusive decision making company AMS shall seek uh, input from the employee and also their feedback. The involvement will create sense of ownership and commitment to the new plan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, contohnya macam, for example, and maybe you say, yeah, uh, decision making, yeah, for example, maybe the owner will give yeah, the uh, AMS, AMS employee to uh, to to have open communication with the owner. Uh, macam tu lah you buat. Yeah, because you really faham. Yeah, try to engage the game. Yeah, try to engage whatever story that you have understood inside yeah, your answers. Okay, for example, transparent communication channel. Open discussion and reason. So how? Yeah, for example, maybe the owner, for example, the owner can have a brainstorming session uh, session yeah with with the 25th employees yeah to understand more about what is actually the, the feedback about changes of the structure or maybe they can uh, ask yeah those uh, who are actually the young <clears throat> the young uh, employee the young generation the, the younger i mean the younger generation which is their age is actually around 20 something to 30 something and also the 50 years above, yeah, uh, employee, yeah, maybe what is the feedback or what is actually the uh, decision that they have to focus in order to improvise on the planning, yeah, for example, okay. Uh, jangan bagi, bagilah uh, so example yang relate to the case, yeah, cuba, 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 memang susah sikit tapi you boleh cuba. Okay, they have to no, uh, notify effects from restructuring AP, uh, AMS operation. Ah, Azri, you are there. Okay, so AMS want to change the working hours from 8 hours to 5. Yeah, so they need to convince the employee, convince Sarajah, eh, convince the employee deeply that the advantages of this change is employee can have three days rest. Ah, so you can also put this way. Yeah, because this is actually your own answers. Yeah, this is your own answers. So they can meet spend more time with your personal time. Yeah, the yeah, work-life balance. So, okay, this is how I can accept. As long as relevant to the case. Jangan bagi contohnya macam, yeah, example is not related at all to the case. Yeah, so if not related, so it's very difficult for you. Yeah, that means don't write. Yeah, definitely you are actually, um, meaning that you are giving uh, something which is not relevant to the case. Cuba, cuba lagi, cuba, come on, yeah. <coughs> Give more. Cuba lagi. <coughs> yeah. 
Siapa lagi? Sama je orang ni. Ya. Yeah. Any more? Hmm. Siapa lagi? Boleh, boleh, you know, who can give more? Semua left dah. Okay, I call upon your name lah. Yeah, since tak nampak pun orang yang hantar. Megat. Fidaus. Faizuddin. Rauda. Okay, come on, come on. I give, if you don't, uh, we, I have to, uh, you know, if there's no, no, no one is actually interested to, to answer. So we have to adjourn the class. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, we have to. So this is our last class. Yeah, this is our last class. So, <clears throat> siapa yang tak nak ni. So, kalau you rasa macam, Madam Amra, I need to improvise more. Yeah, since you have time. Yeah, so you have another two more, two more days. So you can pick that. Yeah, you can pick that as, uh, I mean, the, the case study itself. Yeah. So you try to tackle, try to tackle the question and then maybe you prepare yourself. Yeah, because you want to improvise on your uh, case study. Yeah, and then I will check on your work. Hmm, okay. Siapa lagi? Tak boleh ni. Tak boleh ni. Ramai megat. Ada ramai ni. Yang tak jawab. Puvinas. Jane, you always communicate with me, but yeah, give your answers. Nick Faris, yeah. So, so as I mentioned, yeah, uh, because final assessment, this is MBA level, yeah. So that's why memang kena bagi uh, MBA punya, uh, what do you call that, case studies. Okay, so kalau diploma, memang saya tak bagi case studies, it's all structured question. Yeah. So, kalau MBA, you are, you are, I mean, the school, as, I mean, Uni Raza, exactly, the faculty, exactly, urge yeah, uh, all the lecturers to give case studies. So, this is a time for you, yeah, ingat, this is a concept paper. So, it's not like calculation or economics, you know, that you have to know your formula well, yeah, you have to know your debit credit, yeah, it's not a finance paper. So if you want to improvise your CGPA, this is a, yeah, this is actually the subject. Yeah, if you don't want, it's okay. Yeah, if you want, you can uh, improvise later. Maybe you, hari ni you kerja ke ataupun, yeah, you 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 think tong ke today. Yeah, you not feel you're not being you ke. It's okay. Yeah, so that means you have to later if you have time. Yeah, maybe you can do and then you can ask me to check on your work. Yeah, because there's no point of checking. And then later, Madam, can you check my final uh, assessment? Saya minta maaf. Saya tak boleh check. Apa yang you bagi tu, itulah yang saya akan bagi markah. So, you have to improvise. Yeah, you have to uh, train yourself how to do the, yeah, uh, to do the, um, you know, the case study. Yeah, how to answer the case study itself. Uh, contoh macam tadi, Fasenten, yeah, few of you just now. Yeah, you already answered, yeah, uh, to my expectation. So remember, always ask yourself, macam mana, how? When you give the question, wait, sorry, when you give your answers, ask yourself again, how? Yeah, how? My question, yeah, normally uh, my PhD thesis, if let's say I, 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 present, I present to the committee, the committee always say, so, so what? How? Okay. This is your uh, model. This is this. So what? So how? How you want to say that this thing is your gap? You have to define yourself. Yeah. So how is actually your answers? How is actually your how to make your answers become critical? Yeah. By giving example, like Vasantan did. Give example. Give example. When you give example, it become critical. Yeah. Certain, as I mentioned, certain question, one or two, or maybe one question, 
you cannot get the information because I ask you to think out of the box macam mana nak selesaikan yeah how to change from the from the challenge that you have just now how to change ah uh, you can write and then you give example okay for example the owner of AMS company can implement the following number one they should call all the yeah the head of department or maybe the employee yeah the CEO or maybe the owner of the have to call yeah the employee yeah and mention about the yeah about <clears throat> the uh, the company is actually losing their I mean their loss I mean their their sales is actually lost for the past few years because yeah sometimes the lower rank staff they don't know what is going on yeah and then they have to the owner have to implement a particular structure and they have to make sure that yeah the strategy is actually being prepared yeah being uh, notified to, throughout all the staff in the company so this is actually how you suggest yeah how you do it again that you are actually applying that particular uh, answers to the case study yeah it means the the, under, the case study that you understand uh, you masukkan balik di dalam you punya example yeah so normally there will be yeah uh, in in the context of uh, the case study itself that i will give, give you memang ada memang ada that you have to think yeah outside of the box outside of how imagine that you are the consultant imagine that you are the manager macam mana you nak uh you know do the change uh, so this is actually my question yeah in the case study and then you have to think as the consultant you have to think as the manager how to implement the change okay so uh i think tak ada lagi orang share so if you feel that uh, okay ada orang share lagi uh, let me open okay uh shuada said uh, my attempt to answer question number two to implement the change that affects marketing service. Tak payah banyak panjang tulis AMS je. Yeah? Yeah? But first, yeah, you have to uh, tulis lah AMS too. Yeah, uh, in your first initial of answering it. Yeah, using Lewin's model is recommended, which uh, involves three steps. The first step is on phase where the company needs to identify what needs to be changed. So this involves understanding and managing the doubts or concern using the five. W1H approach to analyze issues and average. I mean, usage and establish focus group decision or DIPA uh, insights would be instrumental in getting everyone uh, in the change process. Engage employees in uh, exploring potential solutions, valuing the diverse inputs from both experienced employees, namely the nice uh, individual who have more than 20 years of experience in this service. 16 uh, younger employees uh, age of 21 to 32 who may bring in fresh ideas in a trend. So these perspectives are crucial for making inform, informed data uh, data driven decision. The step is about preparing the organization to change by acknowledging and addressing the current state and the needs for transformation. Uh, okay, so maksudnya uh, unfreeze, it can be uh, the conflict between uh, so you highlight, yeah, for example, uh, Shwada, a conflict between the age itself, the generation, the Y generation and also the X generation. Okay, so uh, when you explain, yeah, uh, maybe they have conflicts, yeah, of understanding. Yeah, or maybe they have, you, you can put in the, because uh, the first, the first stage of the three steps is, yeah, I mean, the unfreeze. That means they they are being, uh, what do you call that? They have to uh, the management, yeah. But owner have the problem itself. Yeah, the owner itself they never inform, yeah, about the planning. So it can be unfreeze. So you can say that also the owner, yeah, is not informed, and then definitely it will be the conflict between, yeah, the, the generation itself. Maybe the gen the generation the younger generation they are okay. Yeah, with the plan of a uh, ten hours a day, but those who are actually fifties, maybe they are, yeah, their body is not strong enough. Yeah, maybe they have health issues. So you can write also in that particular manner. Yeah, the second step change. 
Apex uh, marketing need to uh, effectively communicate the change, address any concern. Uh, okay, good. But giving some uh, maybe uh, long hours on Saturdays. So Saturday to try try uh, okay unable to work long hours in on Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, maybe the change itself they address over the issue of training. Yeah, retraining. Yeah, and also ah uh, change agent. Yeah, good. Okay, so uh, you are there. That means uh, longer hours in working on Saturdays. Yeah, this is not uh, this is not proper. Yeah, for those who actually when you are fifties, yeah, that means you need you need uh, you know to rest. Yeah, I'm I'm that particular journey already. So memang you need to have a lot of rest. Okay, the third one rephrase apex had to take steps to solidify the change. Yeah. So how? Maybe they create a very good culture, dy dynamic culture. Yeah. Culture. You talk about culture. Always change in the last of uh rephrase is always culture. Yeah. Organizational culture, dynamic culture. Yeah. Give them reward. Uh, this kind of thing. Yeah. Give, give them reward. Give. Yeah. For example, those who actually yeah working for 21, uh, how many years? 20 years, they should reward them. Yeah, because this they have been loyal to the company. They are working for 20 years already. Yeah, so give them that kind of thing. So this is how you write. But I'm okay. Yeah, uh, Shraida, I'm, I'm okay with your uh, answers. Okay, so out of 10, I give you 8 over 10. Yeah, thank you. Bro. This. <laughs> yes, 8 thank over 10. Bro. Yeah, to, to get 9, ah. Uh, to get 9, because I never give 10 over 10. So sorry, this is a concept paper. This is not calculation. 1 plus 1 is 2. Yes, I give you 10. Yeah, for concept paper, I will never give you 10. The most I give is 9. Yeah? Okay? So you, if you, I, I already put, no Shahada said 8 over 10, maksudnya you paham lah. Yeah? Maksudnya, uh, okay, that means you are, uh, that means you still need to have certain yeah one or two more normally nine uh maksudnya every single paragraph though they have the yeah they have the um the case is actually there i mean the the whatever uh, information about the case is already there every single paragraph paragraph eh? paragraph i'm talk not talking about line i'm talking about paragraph so when you make sure when you have all your paragraph paragraph with the example there's no room for not to give 9 or maybe uh, if 15, I will give you 14 over 15. If 20, I give you 19 over 20. Yeah, so my demand is actually very simple. Give every of your paragraph with example. Example yang relevant, yang bukan example yang not relevant. Yeah, I make sure that you have a very good marks. Yeah, kalau you tak dapat 100 pun, there's no point because A plus is actually 85 and above. Yeah, so if you're getting 100 also, if you're getting 90 also, you are actually getting A plus. So this is this is MBA, you know, this this is not diploma. We have, you need to get get good, good. If you want to get A plus, that means your, yeah, your marks has, has be, have to be higher. No. As a concept paper, yeah, when you have, a A plus that means it's, it's good enough already. So make sure, yeah, make sure before uh, I dismiss the class, make sure that every paragraph you have your examples. Yeah, when you give example, that means you are safe enough. I'm so sorry, I cannot give you hundred over hundred. Yeah, it's not in the dictionary of mine. I never give. Sejak saya bekerja sampai sekarang saya tak pernah bagi student. Markah seratus peratus. The most I give is 90. 90, that is actually my max. Yeah, 90. Saya pernah bagi student 90. Okay? Okay, Siti Rauda. One of the way of uh, implement APEC uh, learning. Okay. One of the working. Uh, Rauda, still lagi you nak polish lagi Rauda. Eh? You still need to polish lagi. Yeah. Vasenten. Uh, uh, apa lagi? Uh, Suhada, I'm okay with your work. Vasenten, I can give 8.5 lah. The way you answered, 8.5. Uh, macam Suhada ni, eh, sorry, Rauda, 
Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay, for Shuhada, uh, siapa ni? Kabilan. Kabilan, marketing. Okay, Kabilan for example, team building. Kabilan, bagilah something example yang uh, exactly and that you have seen. You look at, uh, you know, Washington work, you look at, uh, siapa tadi lagi? Nadia's, yeah, you look at Shuhada's, tengok nampak tak how they, she answer. Yeah, with the figures, with the numbers, with the name, I want that. Yeah, practice lagi, practice lagi. Yeah, for example, because again, yeah, your final assessment, assessment saya tak boleh, tak boleh comment, yeah. I just give you marks. Yeah, Kabilan, make sure that you give your, any terms that you have seen in the case. Letak in your paragraph. Yeah, kalau nampak uh, nama dia, uh, Yap Haloy, Yap Haloy, you letak in the paragraph. Kalau you nampak, uh, apa ni, uh, Mutu Sami, Mutu Sami, you put it inside the graph. Yeah. Sorry, inside the paragraph. That is exactly how you answer. Yeah, the uh, the case study itself. Okay, cuba lah, cuba. Yeah, I will not fear you, but this is exactly how I've been trained. Yeah, to answer the. Okay, to answer the. Uh, what do you call that? Um, the uh, case study. Maybe you are not familiar with, but this is exactly how I train you. Yeah, so maybe if you are in my class again later, tak sure, yeah. And then I will train you again how to do your, how to do case studies, how to answer case studies. Yeah, but was uh, Washington, I think Nadia pun sama tadi. And also, uh, apa ni, tadi, tadi siapa yang answer tadi? Uh, Shuhada, that means you are, try to improve more. Yeah, to get nine, yeah, to to, to have the high, yeah, high um, numbers of marks. Okay. Cuba, cuba. Don't, don't, don't ever quit yourself. Cuba. Yeah, this is a challenge for you. And the rest of you, very quiet, very, very reserved. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> maybe you feel that, uh, you know, you're not, you don't have the mood itself. It's okay. Yeah. Try your best. Okay. So with that, uh, I think, uh, thank you so much for coming yeah, to my class.